Saturday Night Virus begins now. This is as disorganized as it comes. And now, Uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. No reading, no research, just strong opinions. All right, hello. What's going on? I can't hear myself. I can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. Well, that's all yep. I need, Joe. Hey, it's, uh, you're listening to Uninformed, as you heard from the, uh, the intro there, Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. And believe it or not, we're finally back. We're finally back live. So at any point you guys want to call in, we can actually uh, talk to you as opposed to pretending. That's we've been doing since, like, what, April? What's that? Yeah. Like a call in the show. Yeah. For the last uh, four months ago. Yeah. I felt like when you're, like, a kid and you have your friends over, you're like, let's make a radio show yeah. on your boombox. <laughs> I felt like that's what we were doing. Splicing it together. Yeah. But, uh, so anyway, so uh, people have been... Uh, Actually, I got—I think I got maybe five emails, Joe. <laughs> People saying that they're excited that we were back. I don't know about you, Joe, but I'm definitely—I'm uh, I'm, psyched. Yeah, I can't wait. This feels like a uh, real radio show, even though we're in the the Baby XM room. Yeah, we're, uh, we're back in the Baby XM. They're doing some renovations over here, so we're in the small room again with the door shut, and there's no air conditioning. So, uh, it's gonna be or is time. there air conditioning? It's just not no. that good. You know what it is, dude? It's your, it's your fucking aura. It's my aura. Yeah, just heating up the room. I stink. Uh, my but anyways, heat. all right, let's 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 actually try to be uh, entertaining here. A lot of shit has happened since the last time we did this show. Uh, Joe DeRosa turned 30 years old. Big 3-0. Still not doing sit-ups. Not so sit-ups. Still eating like shit. Yep. I'm moving to L.A. Bill's moving to L.A. Joe DeRosa's renting my apartment. So right now, he signed the lease the other day. Actually, how do you feel about that, Joe? You are legally bound to me. You should have a little bit of quiver in your voice when you talk to me now. I don't feel good about it, Bill. I'm not... <laughs> you know what? I don't feel good about you not feeling good about it. I, uh... I really need you to make the rent so I can go out to L.A. and become the next uh, red-headed punky Brewster. You need... <laughs> you need me to make rent so you can continue to be legions more successful than I am. <laughs> And I'll pay the uh, I'll pay the rent. That reminds me of the first show, dude. I totally forgot how how fucked up your credit is. Yeah, my credit's fucked. You're gonna rebuild Are you it though. Are you fanning yourself with your yeah, big I'm hot already. hand? <laughs> yeah. I'm already hot. You're gonna rebuild you really my credit. Have, you really have big, long piano playing hands. Yeah, I know. Do you have any sort of musical ability? I play the drums, Bill, as you know, and uh, I play a little guitar. Oh yes. I always wanted to play piano though, but I just never. It was too late in life. That's gonna be my thing that I say to my grandkids when I'm dying. Ah, I always wanted to learn yeah. piano. Never I think it's going to be a lot of things. I always want to be a better father, but I uh, started too late. <laughs> I had you kids when I was 60. <laughs> so wait, so Bill, so yeah, Bill is, is that, are you opening the I'm door? I'm opening the door. It's, <laughs> we, Dude, I got to watch you fan yourself like some <laughs> golden age starlet. This they told show. us to shut the door because it would sound better, but fuck it. It's too hot. And the door is, eight, it's like a goddamn prison door, that thing. Look how oh, thick that real. door is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bank so anyway, Bill's the moving to, vault door. to L.A., and I am. I did sign the lease. I am locked in, contractually locked to Bill Burr for a year. For the next 12 months. For X amount of dollars every month to live in your apartment, and yeah. uh, which means... Now, here's the... This is, the, this is the, 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 t the tough part. It's not renting the apartment. It's not you being my landlord. It's that Bill owns the apartment, so his name is on the lease, and it's a co-op. So if I fuck up, he gets in trouble, which yeah. it's... It's, you know what I mean? It's not a good feeling when it's like, don't fuck up or your friend's going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? That's that's really, that's that's where the tension comes from right now. Okay, that's I just good. Got, yeah, I just got, we just got our uh, first little update. Phones aren't on and they're working on it. Fantastic. <laughs> good. I thought the show was bombing. I was like, wow, nobody gives a shit. Evidently, everybody's over at the PNC in New Jersey. <laughs> Uh, that number is 866-WOW-1-WOW. I didn't say it at the top of the show. 866-WOW-1-WOW. And, uh, you know, it would be great if, if the phones were working. Dude, this, you know what this Back is? Back to this the drawing board. This show should be fucking on public access cable in 1978. We should be sitting here with big lapel mics <laughs> with even wider... wider uh, this is like we, it's like we answered an ad in the back of Boys Life magazine. <laughs> Did you ever want to do a radio show? <laughs> Dude, fuck that. You know what? We put on one of the best mediocre shows on We XM. have a great show, Bill. We do. We have a great show. We are, we are, so how do you feel about me being tied to you for the next 
year. Okay. To go with uninformed uh, with our percentages. Uh, I feel, you know what? I feel 78% that you're going to do the right thing, but I know you're going to fuck up. You're going to do something. What kind of thing is that to I'm going to tell you why. Because, was it three years ago, you helped me move, sort of. You just showed up with like other comics, right? And you yeah. were looking for stage time. That's why you showed up. Basically. And all you would do was you would, you would, rather than actually move shit, you would just look at heavy boxes and then just sit there and rub your head, acting like you were trying to do this physics problem. Like, ah, God, how do I, how do I get my arms underneath yeah. that? And, and I was there because you paid me fifty dollars. I paid. That was a paid spot. You paid me fifty dollars, you cheap bastard. To move your shit. You whoa, paid whoa, me whoa, 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 and whoa. Kurt fifty dollars. Steve Byrne didn't take the money. Steve Byrne didn't take the money. And you paid you got us to move all your shit for a hundred dollars. You know how much it would have cost you to hire manpower to do that? Any idea? Joe, first of all, oh exactly. It would have cost me more. That's why I a got fortune. you. fortune. But you got fucking stage time out of it. I put I, I got put no name. stage time Joe, out of it. It happened. It's on the internet. <laughs> I got no Joe helps Bill move dot com. It's on the fucking internet. <laughs> and not only that, you didn't even fucking do anything. I watched the Shut truck. Up. You I... didn't do sh you you watched the truck. That's what the broad does. <laughs> we should you... have given you a fucking apron. You know Shut what? Up. You didn't do shit. You're gonna make me look cheap, dude. You did not. You got stop. the I'm job point, you I'm, paid for. You got shit. the job you paid for. <laughs> And I was the only one with balls enough to give you that kind of fucking job. Fuck you. You're lazy. Everybody else You're was lazy. carrying boxes. That's Where bullshit. does this go, Bill? That's bullshit. <laughs> Where would you like your drum okay, set, okay. Mr. Let's, Burr? Let's, let's back up for a second. First yeah. of all, it was a studio apartment, all right? Let's not make it sure, let, make it seem like I had like a, a fucking... There was not a, a studio. There was room. What happened to your voice right there? <laughs> you hear the That's pitch in his voice? That's why he can't <laughs> pick up... Oh, my God! I watched the truck. You know what I should have? I should have got $51 bills and slapped them right in your unappreciative face. You think you could have carried $51 bills? That, d you. Over to the next you, diner? You. <laughs> you motherfucker. Uh, I'm cheap. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. You oh. gave us, you gave us a hundred bucks total to okay. move your shit. That would have cost you $500. To get professional guys to come yeah, in and you know do what? that. My shit wouldn't have got broken. I didn't and break your and you shit. They wouldn't be fucking standing around. I've been taking blame for breaking your shit for the last three years. I didn't Dude, break that you fucking didn't break picture. It. You didn't break it. It was Kurt Metzger, but you know what? He was trying. You know what I mean? It's like he dealt for the ball. He didn't yeah. catch it. Well, I can't know. get mad at him. As opposed to you who pull up because you're afraid of getting hit over the middle. You know, a retarded kid tries. You can give him something to carry to the step. What's that? the fucking point? I said a retarded kid tries. I mean, well, you know, he gets an E for effort, but he's still fucking useless is that's, my that's point. That's where you have to take this argument? What? You have to make fun of people. No, I'm not making fun of retarded kids, but I'm saying you... support the terrible job that you did helping me move, and you got $50. The only person with a mental problem Joe, was the guy that thought it was adequate. Yourself. To give fifty dollars to get guys to move his shit. Here, here we go with another update from Steve. Sean, Sean, excuse Sean's me. In here. You're okay, you're okay. Sean's I'm our okay. fill-in producer. I'm just, I, I, so, are the, are the phones going to be on at any point? Uh, hopefully, I'm calling in five minutes. Okay, great. Are the okay. microphones on? Is this being broadcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are we All just right, going to run good. this later? Sean, okay. ladies and gentlemen, is filling in for Danny tonight. I'm missing Danny. Because <laughs> I'm definitely missing. Danny. Phones work when Danny was here, Sean. <laughs> Can you hear Sean, the? Sean is the mic picking up the laughter through the open oh, yeah. door? No, I got you guys. Five minutes, five minutes. I promise. There it is, Sean. I don't like your used car salesman smile. It's really starting to annoy me. You called him my cokehead smile last time. Oh, is that what it is? Coke Whatever it is, smile, it involves that's something hilarious. illegal. He has he has a smile like Jack Nicholson and Batman when he's sitting across the boardroom table before he electrocutes that guy. You know what? I hate all of those movies. <laughs> what one? I like the original ones with Burt Ward. The ones I like those. those I, I don't TV. like I don't like the Tim Burton ones, but I like the Christian Bale one. That one was good. I fell asleep, Joe. That's a shame. But it's only because I was tired. That's a was shame. That Were you tired from moving stuff around, you big tough man? <laughs> no, I wasn't tired. I was tired from hiring op glorified open micers who were middling for some reason. You I, didn't uh, pick up a bunch. Joe, you didn't do shit. You were the laziest I motherfucker. I didn't do shit. I didn't get shit. you know shit. what you were? You, you, you shamed your Egyptian heritage. We didn't move anything. You know what I learned? The, by, wait a minute. <laughs> shut up. You know what I learned by watching you help me move? The What's Egyptians that? did not build the fucking pyramids. We, we didn't move a you goddamn stone. You just stood stone. around looking at stones like, eh, what the fuck? The, the Egyptians enslaved people to do it for them. That's a fact. I mean, that's a fact. Why? Who did it? That's a fact. We, they had slaves that did it. And what was their background? I'd rather not say. Why not? Because they Who were Jewish. <laughs> they were Jewish? Yeah, but yeah. You, know what? you know what? Black yeah. people claim that they, that they do it. Yeah, 
don't, I don't buy. You know, I don't, I don't want to get into shit. this. I don't want to get into I don't, this. I don't buy that shit because it's like, okay, so you go up there, right? All the Zulus go up there. They build the pyramids, and then they just like, well, I guess we proved our point, and then they went back to their huts. Just can we verify something? When you, you know said all the Zulus, you're referring to a, that actual tribe, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. The same way. I mean. Okay. The same way, dude. Dude, I, I can't even hammer a fucking nail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not trying to be like, why do I got to handle everything with fucking kid gloves? The show is called Uninformed, so I don't know what the proper term is for somebody. Uh, African is stupid because Egyptians are African. African right. is a continent. Black guy. Yeah, some black dude. Right. Okay. How but are they living, man? They didn't have any, they didn't have any fucking pyramids uh, downtown there. I, <laughs> in uh, South Africa over there. I mean, uh, over to downtown like, yeah. over there. <laughs> like Ar Archie Bunker. <laughs> you see there. <laughs> see, this is right now. This is what you need right now. We need somebody who actually knows something about uh, to call uh, in. about the Zulu tribe and their ability the to The phone's uh, going to ring and it's going to be somebody going, mortar. you're fired. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Al Sharpton taking this a break? This is the president of XM. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> All right, uh... Dude, this thing is it's not even being broadcast okay so, the so phones aren't on we're now, not even in a real room now now here here's let's change the name of the show to the tree fort show okay and we'll sit here and look at playboys and giggle that's uh that's kind of how i feel about taking over your apartment like you know you know when your friend gets rid of his bike because he gets uh -huh. a, he gets a better bike and he's like you want my own bike i give oh, it to you for like 100 you know what bucks. i call i call i call it the bobby <laughs> kelly syndrome <laughs> When Bobby yeah. gets some new piece of technology, right? Yeah. And then he has the, his his old one, like, dude, dude, check this out, dude. Yeah. Dude, I bought this a week ago. I don't need it anymore. Yeah. And the second, it's got a 35-inch screen. And the second you buy it, dude, I got a new one. It's got 41. <sighs> his screensaver was mine's better. So you're my, I think the phones are online now. Is that true, Sean? Uh, I have no idea. Sean? What's up? Are the phones online? Is that why you went okay? No, nah, we're uh, we're having a, a problem in D.C. Apparently, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is why the phones are not gonna be on. When your engineer, were you like Sean? Sean, he just goes, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Dude, just go back to smoking or snorting whatever you're doing. Uh... We're just gonna once again do three hours of fucking radio staring at each other. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm calling him like every five minutes. So I'm gonna I, call him every two. You cocksucker! The second I get updated is the second you guys will get updated. All right. Um, I like how his mic sounds better than mine. It does. He's nice really and crisp does. and nice. clear. He's got that fucking Shadow Stevens uh, bass tone going on over there, and we we I don't got know who nothing. That is. You don't know who Shadow Stevens is? No, I don't, the Joe. But you know what I do know how to do? Announcer. Is pick up a box when somebody pays me fifty bucks to do it. How do uh, I, I? I God, I want these fucking phones to come on because I want to know what these people would feel like if you were their landlord. That's what Dude, I want to know. Most times, when people when people help their friends move, the guy just we gives weren't them, friends they, back they, then. They we weren't friends afterwards. at all. Well, let me ask you a question. Why did you do it? Because you offered me fifty bucks, and I was that poor. I needed fifty dollars. Okay. So, so I helped you out. Yeah, and I helped hey, you out. Hey, if you stand on the corner with a fucking tin cup, Joe, I don't think beggars can be choosy. <laughs> I helped that you is, out. That is that is a saying. I helped you out. I know it's a saying. <laughs> and I helped you out. You needed somebody to watch the fucking truck. I watched it. What were you going to do? Leave your shit out there un unarmed or unmanned or whatever? I stood on that truck made Dude, sure people nobody stole took, shit. People took, uh, were taking shifts. It was a four-floor walk-up. It was I'm brutal. Moved. I'm not going to lie to you. It was brutal. It was but awful. Steve Byrne was like the marathon man, just running up really? and down the stairs. Do you remember when Steve Byrne left for two fucking hours in the middle of it and then came back? No, Joe. The only thing I remember was you not doing shit. You're hurtful. Maybe I don't remember because Steve didn't, he didn't even accept payment. Because he was headlining 18 colleges a week and he didn't need the no, fucking money. No, you know money. why? Because Steve Byrne is a decent guy. Oh, uh, he is a decent He's guy. He's at least... 38% more of a decent human being than you are, Joe. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that? Uh, <laughs> I feel... Uh, you know what, Bill? I'm not going to go that route with you. I feel, no, you went that route. I feel 95% great that you're my landlord <clears throat> and that you're my friend. Totally different subject. And don't try to guilt me. And Dude, and every once in a while, friends have riffs. Okay? And we, we, we brought up something we shouldn't have brought up. All right? <laughs> no, we should have brought it up. It was funny. It was funny. I think we talked about All right, that before, then why did you too? have to have the fucking We Are The World ending to it? Because I'm being a douche. What do you think? All you right. You know being what you fucking sincere? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a douche. You should sell those t-shirts at the end of your show. 
I'm being a douche? No, because I'm being a douche. <laughs> and that would explain 90% of fifth, your fucking behavior. That's the fifth uh, t-shirt idea you've given me. We should put this, for when the phones come back on, let's have the callers vote on this. Vote on what t-shirt I should sell, because you said I should say, that's the newest one, because right. I'm, being, cause a I'm being a douche. One of them was... Uh, Scratch proof my ass because my glasses were scratched. Oh, yeah, no, anyway, you got to give the back, the back story. Joe just has a habit of just saying dumb shit that I think would be would look good in a t shirt. And the other day, he's he's in my apartment, which is soon to be his apartment, and he's just in his own world looking at his new glasses and he starts rubbing them with his t shirt like an 80 year old man. He goes, ah, Scratch proof my ass. <laughs> Dude, that should have been on a 1950s sitcom or something. <laughs> but the greatest thing, Joe, is if any of these, you're going to have to say them like at least as many times as Bill Engvall says, here's your sign in an hour. Here's your time. sign. Here's your sign. You're going to have to be scratch-proof my ass. And you got to uh, There's no way to work that. Yeah, I know. There's no way to work that into anything. That's, See, that's cause, an impossible Because I'm being me. a douche would be easy. Because I'm being a douche. Yeah, yeah, so I'll do the bit. So then I say the waiter, I say the waiter, go fuck yourself, beat, because I'm being a douche. And then the audience fucking erupts and claps, oh, yeah. right? All right. Joe, the, the, um, the amount of t-shirts you would sell, as much as you're mocking that, I'll tell you right now, I've had middle acts. One of my pet peeves is feature acts with t-shirts, because there's nothing America loves more than a fucking t-shirt. And I, I'll have like a comedy CD, like content, what I like to think, some sort of art on it. They don't give a shit. No, they just want t shirts Yeah, if you have a fart joke on a t-shirt, they're all over it. You got those in quadruple XL? People love t-shirts for some fucking reason. I don't know. What, it, what is it about a t-shirt that people go so uh, crazy about? Well, because you, you can't have enough of them, Joe. They're like whores. <laughs> they're like, come on, man. I, I, have, a, I have a whole... Uh, look at this. I got a Comedy Works t-shirt. I really look like a, a road hack, don't I? You do. That's the sign you of do. any, for people who are actually listening. God knows we have no idea because there's no fucking phones. Um, <laughs> sign of a road hack. Rich Voss used to always do that. He he was that, always good. And when you see the guy, you know the road comic on the clip show? Because he's wearing the shirt that says, like, Beefy's Burger Joint, Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? He's wearing the shirt from the place that he ate because the fucking owner of the club took him there after the first show. <laughs> you got to you know, try these burgers. You know? <laughs> Dude, you know, I got to admit, I do that because it's so hard to find a truly obscure T-shirt now because you go down to They're Best... They're cool sometimes. They're Be cool yeah, T-shirts sometimes. Yeah, Best Buy, like, or well, not Best Buy, Urban Outfitters, Forget probably it. owned by the same guy. They they manu they mass produce obscure T-shirts. Forget it. It's yeah, it's finished. I went in, I have a gift card for Urban Outfitters for like 50 bucks, you know? And I went in and tried to buy a shirt. You hear about the roach it problem they had down there? It was impossible. You hear about the roach problem in, in uh, Urban Outfitters? No. I heard them. They were like, it's all like in the, in the t-shirts and stuff. You know what? I did hear about that. I thought it was, it wasn't rat. I heard it was rats. It was something, but they were attacking customers. And there was, uh, I heard too, like a bunch of kids, you know how they found out about it? Was that a bunch of like, I guess hipster kids, whatever, bought t-shirts. Uh-huh. And they kept coming, they kept, the kids kept, you know, brand new t-shirts, and they were bringing them back in and saying, this t-shirt has a stain on it, and they didn't know what the stain was, and they had gotten That's because they said it in, like, an ironic way, so they didn't yeah, think right. that they were actually serious. But they had gotten back, like, you know, something like 50 or 75 or 100 t-shirts right. with these, with the same stain, and they looked in it, and they found out it was fucking fecal matter. And that's why they went out of business. Yeah. I think we can actually get sued for this shit, because usually we have phone people calling in, they didn't go out of business. I know, are we not allowed to say there what we just no said? There was no roaches. Dude, we're uninformed. We have no idea <laughs> whether or not they're. We just made or not. that up in case. I know. Now we got to say that one in case Al Sharpton gets pissed off. We have to say, uh, what's that Kathy Griffin thing? We have to say allegedly after everything. I don't know, but you have to have bangs when you say it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm at the. Uh, that's my <laughs> Kathy Griffin impression. <laughs> All right, people, you are listening to Uninformed. I, I believe, I believe you're listening to it because I don't know if this is actually going out. Uh, the phones are still down. When they come back up, it's uh, eight six six wow one wow, and uh, we were going to have people call in and uh, you know try to predict the disasters of. Uh, this is what we're going to do for the rest of the show. We're going to we're going to tell what would have happened if we could actually interact with our small puddle of a fan base. Don't knock them. Don't knock the fan base. I'm down. not knocking. They're them. out there. They're strong. They're I'm a not legion. Knocking them. That they're was actually a legion. They are. They are. They are a legion. <laughs> the uh, the uh, <laughs> what is your definition of a legion? A legion. 
They're allegiant. I heard, I heard you that. Well, what the fuck? Is there a standard Did number you say for allegiant? No, I said allegiant, but I My said it. My definition of allegiant? I said it, yeah. How many people is in allegiant, Joe? Uh, whoever, you know. How, whoever's out there. <laughs> I'm going to go with half a million. That's not a legion. That's a legion. That's not a legion. That's that's a population. That's a country. A legion. A legion of doom. How many was in the legion? Six? It wasn't half a million. Six was the legion of doom. That's yeah. not a lot. I I'm think saying it's, you it know what? I th you know, so that's what a legion is. A legion is a small group of people that agree to do something evil. Like whoever the phone guy is running here at XM. <laughs> He'd probably get together with somebody else. But you wouldn't call... All right. Listen. Here's the thing. Uh... What is the percentage of uh, America listening to us right now? That's what I want to know. That's basically what we're getting to. How many? What is, what is the percentage of this country that you think is listening to us? Right now? Well, uh, I can tell you what percentage is calling in right now. 0.0. 0.0. 0. 0.0. 0. 0.0. And what, we, we, we're going to harp on it for the rest of the show? No. I, think, I don't think we should. I think we should take the positive, Joe. That's I what think, I'm I saying. Think, I think we should find the love. That's why I called him a legion. This. A legion, a legion. There's six truckers driving across Tennessee right now, and they're yeah. listening. And they're into it. That's they're right. Into it. And they're sitting on their extra fluffy pillow there's to make sure some, they don't get the hemorrhoids before they pull into a Hardee's. There's some guy right now parked in a truck stop with his cock in a tranny's mouth, and he doesn't even know Subway, it yet. He doesn't even know and it he's yet. He's listening to this show right now, and he's, she's laughing <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus that with his, with his dick in her mouth. Well, the thing is, is he still thinks it's a woman. So right now, he really thinks he's the luckiest person alive. But he's gonna be, you know, they always have those fancy reflectors, both on the inside and outside. And that's when he's going to be, you know, see up his skirt and look like, and, you know, it's going to look like he's looking at a shaved bull mastiff. <laughs> I don't know what a bull mastiff is. I don't know, word. but I think they have bulls. Um, that's a well, I guess word. there are female ones. Oh, also, too, just another quick order of uh, preliminary business before we get into the real subject. Yeah, this is our half hour warm up of the show is... Uh, we're doing a new thing on Uninformed. Uh, we're we're going to feature a band. Uh, we're going to feature one band and an album by that band on every show. So uh, every song that you hear as we go to break today is going to be from one album. And the album cool. is uh, Stranger Than Fiction by the band Bad Religion, who is my favorite band ever. They're my favorite band of all time, Bad Religion. Their album Stranger Than Fiction. You know what? I have no idea who they are. I know the name. Can you, could, Joe, could you and your wonderful voice, could you sing one of those songs? Uh... Send me one of, one that of the top songs. 41. Sean, what's one of the songs playing today? Just give me one of the titles and I'll sing it. We are playing uh, 21st Century. Okay. It goes, okay. Shum, dum, 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 uh, we got Better Off Dead, I think. Until then, Better Off Dead, a hey. smile on the <laughs> hole in the head. Come on, keep on coming. No, 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 stop. <laughs> Sean, stop. Dude, that sounds like when they roll credits to a bad coming-of-age, like, 1980s movie. <laughs> Just one more. Let me do one more. I'm having fun. Just do the music. One more. You got Hooray for Me. <laughs> well, I can see Martina All right, all right, all right. Jesus. Hooray for right. me and fuck you. <laughs> all right. So, this, this, this is. See, and this is the band that you think people should be informed and know about. Okay. I sounded like it, didn't it? No. Hey, yo, dude, in your head, you always sound like, you always think you sound exactly <laughs> like the album, but at some point, so anyway, you will be roasted, and we'll be playing that audio back. All the songs from today's program are from the album Stranger Than Fiction by Bad Religion, the best band ever. Uh, go out and see them. Ah, they uh, they're going to be touring this fall in support of their new album, New Maps of Hell. You know what? They don't suck. You, your version of what they did sucked so bad. If like, you wanna I'm going to have to wait five years to even listen to that fucking album to get that whole, wanna... what you just did, out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know who they are, they're a punk band. They started in 1980. They're still going strong. Uh, they're, they're amazing. Lead singer is a college professor in addition to being a so punk So what, that's singer. supposed to make them interesting? No, they're very cool. They sing a lot really? about science and God and religion and Listen, You know what my criteria is for a, good, for a good lead singer? If you don't choke on your own vomit, vomit and die, that's it, man. You're not a rock star. 
<clears throat> he teaches a class. What does he teach? Meteorology? Uh, close, actually. Some kind of biochemistry thing or something. He's it's, he's a very interesting guy. I, 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 he's a very intelligent guy. They were very intelligent. I'm not saying he isn't. I like them. I know you probably like your schlock rocking fucking porcupine bush band that you like so much. Oh, porcupine tree? You know what <laughs> yeah. it is? I, I like the drummer. The uh, Nothing was gayer, by the way, than the day you played me them and you were air guitaring it for me. As, cause, but not not to be funny. You were just air guitaring it because you were feeling it, and you were doing like the white man overbite, and you were going mm, like that. I'm white, and I'm not going to apologize for it. What was I supposed to do? Walk like an Egyptian, whatever the fuck you people do? That was as bad as what I just did, but in a whole different way. There was something... Yeah, but I had the decency not to do it on air, Joe. Or to have it filmed. I did it in the privacy of my own home. No, you did it That's right it. in this studio while Danny was ripping the song. That to, never happened. And you were looking. It you, never happened. You're making Joe. a face. It was almost a face uh, like it was. It was inappropriate. <laughs> it was freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I can make you uncomfortable, Joe. And speaking of uncomfortable, how long do you think before the you 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 would <laughs> no you ejaculate in some way? In in my apartment that Dude, I own. I'll tell you how long. The first day, I'm going to shoot a load right uh, into that new stove you have. <laughs> I'm I gonna can't even laugh at that. Shoot it right down into that gas burner. And you're going to come back, what's wrong with the stove? <laughs> Joe, that, that is, that's not even funny, man. That's just absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Billy got a new kitchen put in. That's what, First that's of all, what don't say it to. like I'm three. Billy got a new kitchen put in. No, I got a fucking kitchen that's going to get you laid. You can actually act like you own that place. Do you realize the lies? Forget about the lies that we already told about Urban Outfitters on this show. Right. The lies that you're going to be able to say that you actually headline on the road and are making some sort of a decent income to be able to afford. A, I, <laughs> dude, I own a microwave. It's fucking hilarious. I'm talking about it like I won the showcase showdown. A dude, stainless steel microwave. In New York, that apartment is like a mansion. You know? It's a great apartment, dude. Oh, yeah. It is. It's, it is a great but apartment. He, he put a brand new kitchen in to the tune of God knows what. And, uh, and uh, I think that's what you're really worried about more than anything is that I'm going to fuck that kitchen up in some way. I'm not worried about that show. I'm worried about, I don't mind if you cook a pork chop and you set off the smoke I'm gonna, alarm. I'm going to cook a fucking hot load is what I'm going to cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm worried about, Joe. That is what I'm worried about. That is really what I'm worried about. I don't mind you and your awful hairless Sasquatch body standing in the shower. That's not, I'll be able to block all of that out. You just, <laughs> uh, just <laughs> doing whatever it is you do. You want to talk about a horrific face, whatever your sex face is, Joe, could uh, never sure be worse brutal. than, <laughs> I'm sure than that brutal. porcupine tree thing. Dude, we are literally both sweating profusely sitting here, disgusting wiping in here. our brow. Well, let's, you know what? Hopefully, we're going to take a break right now. You guys, you're listening uninformed. Believe it or not, we actually are live our phones just aren't working. This is a scam we should have been doing yeah, the past right. couple of no months shit. so that they don't work. Hopefully when we get back, uh, we wanted to, uh, you know, because we're big on uh, uninformed percentages. Yeah. We wanted to know uh, what the over-under was of Joe DeRosa shooting a load within the first eight minutes <laughs> that he's in my apartment. Also coming up, we're going to be talking about sports gambling, um, airline travel, and uh, Michael Vick. we got a whole bunch of stuff. So please, if you're listening, please st stay here. Keep driving that truck. All right, we'll be right back with Uninformed. It's Uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. I can't believe it. Ah, yeah, Joe, you, you did a good version of that. All right, you're listening to uh, Uninformed <laughs> with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. Saturday night, August 25th. Uninformed. Uh, phones are... Oh, my God. The fucking phones are working. They're working! You know what? I'm going to take a call. Just, yeah! Just to take a call. I'm mean, so... Yes! I'm Eight, really six. excited. <laughs> That's how pathetic our show is. We have a caller, and we're, like, psyched. All right. Indy Mike calling to say hi. I don't give a shit if this guy trashes me. Hello? What do I right-click? Do I left-click? Sean, how the fuck do I get the phone to work? <laughs> uh, you have to click on the number, I think. Oh, click on the number. Clicking on the number. Here we Hello, go. Hello, Indy Mike. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, you're the first caller on this show since March. 
Well, it's an honor. I saw you in Chicago oh over a year ago, and just wanted to call in and say hi and let you know I was tuning in. All right, dude. I want to. I really want. I feel like unbelievable right now that we actually verified that we do have a listener. We're back. Oh, here they go. They're fucking lighting up. Eight six six. Wow. One wow. Well, Mike, listen. We. Uh, I don't know if you heard um, the beginning part of the show. Joe is going to be renting, subletting my apartment, and we were yep. we were wondering how soon before Joe makes it his own. Well, I would say the first night. The first night. Do you think he's going to be by himself or with somebody else? Oh, by himself the first time. After that, I don't know. But yeah, now, by the end of the night, the first time, the first night. I think I'm definitely gonna have a lady friend sleep over the first night I'm there. A lady friend? You I'm sound like have... a gay guy with some sort of fag hag you're bringing well, over. Oh, I'm talking about a man that I'm gonna have to sleep over. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but you know, it's you gotta. It's that I told you. It's a, there's gonna be a creepiness where I'm gonna be like I'm living in Bill's apartment right now. It's gonna take me a little while to get past that. You know what, dude? And, and I, I think I think you have to make it your own. You know what I'm actually trying to think now? I'm trying to look at you and figure out what you're into, like what your fetishes are, what sort of horrific shit you're going to do in there. I'm going to come home, like next time I come back to do uninformed, you have some sort of rack in there with a paddle. <laughs> There's not going to be any of that. There's just going to be... You are. All of a sudden, you're going to start dressing like Rob Halford. There's just going to be something weird. There won't be anything weird at all. All right. We're taking... There's thanks just... for calling. Hey, uh, Chris, what's up? You're on hey, what's up, guys? Chris, what's up, man? guys? How what's you doing? Up? Hey. Hey, man. Thanks for uh, listening. And uh, how soon do you think, Joe, before Joe comes into my apartment and uh, makes it his own? In nanoseconds? About four. There really? you go. Why? What? What's your basis for that, though? Because uh, I'd do the same thing to my buddy if I took over his place. There you go. In principle. Do you think I should shoot a hot, greasy load in oh, all the Jesus, places Joe. it doesn't belong? In He's that every apartment, corner of every room. Why? He's, why? Why would you do that? So, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Man. Well, why? Why joke. would you even bring it up, dude? It's just, it's like I'm not finding this show is not comedy anymore. This is just, it's just becoming. <laughs> You're getting gross. It's just, I so really, it's gross. Really out. Disgusting. I'm joking. The, uh, the uh, Mike. Uh, wait, what's your name? Chris? Bill? Chris? Chris Hank, from New York. Yeah. Chris, would you want? Would you want Bill Burr as your roommate, or would you be afraid? No, no, no. Um, as, as a landlord. Or as no, your landlord, as, sorry. Uh, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Exactly. Off, do, you, do, you, do you see the difference? I'm a cool guy. You're going to shoot a load in my, my convection <laughs> oven. Convection oven, Joe. You can actually go there and cook your load <laughs> with convection. What if you came back, right, and your apartment was... Was immaculate? I would be really happy, Joe. But we what would if continue this happened? to be friends. What if this happened? What if your, a pack, your apartment was completely taken apart, right? Nothing was where it was. I mean, everything is just broken down. What but do you mean? What do you mean broken down? Gone. The stuff is just not there. It's just empty. It's an empty room, okay? Okay. One giant empty room. You go, where is all my shit? And I say, well, I had to get rid of it, but it was because I... <laughs> <laughs> because why, Joe? I can't get this out, dude. I'm... <laughs> no, you got to say it now. Because, but like, but if it was not there, but if it was co for a cause of greater good, like your shit was gone, but I'd created like the telepods from the fly and I created teleportation devices in your apartment. I said, Bill, your shit's gone, but look what I invented. Would you be mad or would you be happy about that? Um, if I got a cut to t teleportation, cut. absolutely, but you'd still have to open for me for the next month to pay for those leather couches. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, here's a guy right here. We're going. Uh, thanks for calling, Chris. Hey, Dale, what's up, man? Dale, you, uh, <laughs> You're in Oregon. You said you leased an apartment to a friend. Yeah, I leased an apartment to a friend, and he fucked me over bad. Okay, let's back up first. You, did you own this place, or <laughs> your your name was just on the lease? Oh, no, I own it. And, oh, my God. What was it? Was it a house? Was it a condo? Is it any well, surprise, I, by I, the way, that the stories people are calling in with? I'm not surprised at all that that's the first. Dude, it was a fucking train wreck. <laughs> it's going to suck. <laughs> that's all anybody ever calls hey, in and says. I can still rip up your lease, so shut your face. <laughs> Dale, I want to hear what's going what on. So you, you own what, a condo or a house? A house. It's you, a four-bedroom, three-bed. Uh, I'm Portland, Oregon. Okay. Great, great, great area. And... How well did uh, you know this person that you uh, rented the house to? And please don't say you, you host a show with him. <laughs> <laughs> Elementary school. And what, what did he do? Uh, parties, cookers, druggies. Oh, we're coming uh, up on that. In one room, you put a stripper pole in it. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on. Did. Bullshit. Yeah, I'm not buying that. And then what, he had he, co oh, a kilo of Coke no, on your glass I, I, coffee I, I, table? 
dead there was serious. a donkey. He took the stripper serious. pole and he sodomized the donkey pole. with it. So then I had to deal with PETA, and those people <laughs> never leave. You sound like an eight-year-old when he's trying to lie his way out of something. And then, no. and then, and then, <laughs> and then Billy came. All right, Dale. Thanks, thanks for calling, man. What the fuck, hey, man? Least, at least, at least come, at least come with 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 a good lie. Who else we got? Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got somebody calling to say hello. Alex, what's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, hey Alex. thanks for calling in, man. Yeah, I just wanted to say, Billy, man, loved you for a long time, man. Okay. Since ONA. Can you not say it in that creepy voice? <laughs> creepy voice, man. Listen, yeah. how do you think, Did you how do you hear think the way I feel? said that? Billy, how do you think man. I feel, man? I've had to live with this voice for my entire fucking life. Man. No, now it doesn't sound creepy. Well, you, you know said... what you could do? You, you could pick up the pace. That was kind of... Billy, I just want to say... I just want to say I loved you for a long time. I always man. enjoyed it. Sorry, man. I mean, I just I didn't know if you were talking to Alex from Nebraska or Alex from New York. Oh, okay, my oh, fault. Well, let me ask you this: How how long do you think before Joe moves into my place that he he uh, he makes he makes it his own? I don't know. It really depends on like what kind of porn he got in there, you know. You don't think Joe has a, his own rack of porn of that he's gonna be moving in there? Stuff. Well, I don't know, but I mean, if I was moving into a friend's house, you know, I I'd, I'd look for his porn first. You know. Well, he's not going to leave his possessions. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I know. Why don't I just have a crackhead move in and I'll leave crack on the fucking table for him? He's he's yeah, taking yeah, his yeah, things with right. him to his right. new house. All right, all right, Alex. Thanks for calling, man. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. Um, all right, dude. That wasn't bad, man. We got some callers. People saying, "What's up? What's the point of the show? Show is awful, unlistenable." Who and said this, that? I know some guy. He's been on hold put for like on. put him on two put and him a half, on. two and a half minutes. Put okay, him on. Matthew. Yeah. Hey, man, big fan of you. What's going on? This is Bill. I, I like you. You're a, you're a pretty funny guy, but this show is not funny. It sounds like you and Joe are trying too hard to be funny. It's not coming off. Okay, so what do you suggest we do, sir? I, I leave. Put best of back on. Put what? Really? Put best cake? of back on? Sir, why are you sitting at home listening to radio on a Saturday night? Why are you in Jersey with the rest of the so-called comedians? Why are you? Oh, that's why he feels shunned. You're right, shunned. because the only he feels shunned. The only comedians uh, are on that tour. There are no other comedians in the entire country. Because you're right, show, sir. This show is really play it back and be objective when you get home. Listen to it again. Okay, Matt. I want you to oh, absolutely. I will. Do you listen to our other shows, Matt? Yeah, I've seen, I've heard of them. Yeah, it's not funny. You're not funny. Nothing that you've said so far has been funny. Me or Bill? Both of you. So why are you listening? So why do you continue you why to listen? Would you, why would you call in? You even have a fat voice. What? I don't get what he's saying. I, what does that mean, Matt? I don't Come on, Matt. Trash us or get going here. All right, he hung up. There you go. All right, he see? hung up. Dude, you knew that's where that fucking call was going to go. If anybody go. knows Matt, he's a cunt. <laughs> that's great, Joe. It was like a, literally, like a little first grade fucking thing. I know that was the. It, do you, do you, can you get? Can you get with me on my? Sense no, you know what I do when I when I have to start answering the phones, I get like completely distracted. <laughs> Bill's a cheap bastard. Here's one for Joe. Here we go. Here hey, we TJ go. Wyoming, what's going on, man? Hey, Billy, can y'all hear me? Yeah, hey, buddy, what's up? what's up? Hey, man. Hey, great to hear you guys back on. I, I got a kick out of listening to you two knuckleheads. Thanks, man. Hey, Bill, I just want to say, man, on that moving deal that you did with Joe. Uh huh. Joe. Fifty bucks, man! Come on. Well, dude, you yeah. know what? You know why you think that's cheap? Because you live in Wyoming and your driveways no, 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 are twenty no, no, no. miles long, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to step me... over. You have to step over steer to get to the front fucking door. <laughs> no, dude, dude, it's I, New York. We were moving from one apartment to another. Yeah, I know. I lived up in New York before, man. And to get somewhere, get to come here to move, like a studio or something like that, you're gonna drop a grand easy. I, I, I realize that, and my shit isn't going to get broken, and if it does, <laughs> they're going to pay for it. And I'm not buying that you lived in New York. I lived in New York, man. <laughs> I lived up on 97th TJ, Street. TJ, uh, let I me... I was stationed up in Fort Gordon, well, New York, New Jersey. I was stationed up in New Jersey for a while. TJ, let me ask you this. Would you yeah. Would you want Bill Burr as your landlord? I think I would. Bill seems like a pretty cool guy. I've, I've been listening to his shows. He's a very cool guy. Good. Oh yeah, he's a cool guy. He's all right, Joe. Just hell. whatever you do, just just don't fuck up my apartment. All right. I'm not gonna fuck it up. I like this guy though. I like that he just. All right, TJ. Thanks, thanks for calling. Here come all, right, all the people. Here come all the people show, sticking up for you, Joe. Here Scott in go. Alabama. What's going on, Very man? Very good. Hey man, I'm jumping on that same train as PJ. I gotta say, man, I had to help me move up to the third floor 
one bedroom apartment. Not only did I pay him a couple hundred dollars, I took him out to dinner, bought him cigars and oh. alcohol, treated them like fucking the best friends that they were for not breaking all my shit. Well, look at that. well this is the thing though. Your friends aren't on the phone to back you up. <laughs> not only that, I moved in 2003. These were 2003 prices. <laughs> <laughs> so $50. I, I guess I'm a cheap fuck. You're not a cheap yeah. fuck. You're, I was just breaking your balls about you being cheap in that one incident. That's all. Peace out, man. All right, man. See thanks you, for buddy. calling. Thank you. Thanks for sticking up for me. What the fuck is the standard rate? Dude, I looked into Manpower, whatever the company was called, to hire movers when I the last time I oh moved. Oh, my it was, God, Joe. That's like going... I looked up like, ju what George Carlin gets for a gig it was like as a, opposed to an open micer. You're not a mover, Joe. You don't even have shoulders. D don't see, but see, you, you make it hurtful is what you do. Okay, <laughs> bring it to a physical level. There's no need for that. No, it's it's, dude. I'm. I, who cares? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. To be honest okay. with you, I was fun to break your balls about it, but I feel like now it's turned into a very serious discussion. No, it has to. You know what it is, dude? It's turned into this fucking studio is like nine thousand degrees. All right, let's let's get. Okay, guys, listen. We got fifteen minutes for our next break. Let's get into some of the to the actual uninformed topics that we want to talk about. We kind of decked around a lot at the top of the show because the phones weren't working. We didn't want yeah. to waste some really good phone call stuff. So here we go. Uh, we airline. <clears throat> uh, there's a website out there. Excuse me. There's a website out there called www.strandedpassengers.blogspot.com. Okay, and what this website is doing is they are have, have uh, crafted what is it, Bill? A bill of rights for airline customers uh, so that we no longer get fucked over by the airlines. That's Essentially, what, they, that's that's what they're, tr they're trying to do. Because I don't know if uh, you've been flying lately. It's fucking brutal, dude. This is what they do. This is like this happened to me the other day on uh, airline. You literally you get to the place, right? And they tell you that your 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 flight is boarding. You get on, you know. They do the whole, you know. You have a very full flight. Yeah. We're out of pillows and all that type of shit. Yeah, I love and, that. You know, God forbid they prep. See, this is why they're fucking cocksuckers. Okay, is because. Dude, they how much more can they nickel and dime you? You you don't get a meal anymore. You got to pay five dollars for a bag of chips. You got to pay five dollars for your fucking headphones on a five hour flight to watch a movie, right? There's certain airlines where you got to pay fifteen dollars extra to sit by a window. The least these fucks can do is have enough pillows on the plane. I like how they act like <laughs> that morning a construction crew came in and added another wing to the plane. I know like, it's so simple. Wait. You got two hundred sixty <laughs> seats. You need two hundred sixty pillows. They run out of that shit uh, dude I'm, I'm telling you like I, I in the last probably six flights I've had five times this this is the scam they do they get you on the flight it's always the same thing they always say sir we have a very full flight like this is a surprise or something every fucking one of their flights is sold out I don't know how they're not making any money but then they pull away pull you away from the jetway and then they just drive you off to like this rest area and then, then they pull that shit. Ah, this is your captain. Uh, we, 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 we just found out we, that we have a fucking delay. Like, they, they didn't know when you it, were sitting in the airport where there's oxygen and food that they didn't know that there was going to be a delay. They, they just get you on the fucking th plane, and then they stick you out there. And that's, that's the most annoying part is the attitude they have about it. That, I was thinking about that on the plane one day. It's like I'm tired of the entire staff on the airline having the same attitude that the pothead sound man has at the rock and roll club. Like, hey, man, we're just rocking and rolling. We'll get there when we get there, brother. Don't stress, man. And you're like, no, dude, I actually have fucking three shows to do tonight. I got to go. Let's go. You know what I mean? No, like people, Well, people have been snapping. Like I heard on, uh, on Continental Airlines, they actually had a delay of like five hours they took these people and you know they shut the engines off then there's no air the bathrooms are starting to uh they're starting to overflow and that type Unreal. of shit and they just leave people out there for like five fucking hours people they actually revolted they started banging on the tops of the uh like attica oh yeah totally <laughs> <laughs> they started revolting and they demanded that's what fucking sucks is they won't tell you what's going on and they just yeah. leave you out there so it, it's called uh I don't know what the fucking website you just said, but it was it's like www. Nine, no, dude, that's not the one. That's like nine, nine years. Old. It's flyersrights.org. org. Flyers flyers right. org. Somebody was on a flight. I guess they stayed on the ground for like twelve hours, and they just, dude, they will not let you off the fucking plane. They start doing that nine eleven shit. You know what I mean? Ah, nine eleven, man. You got to stay out here. So they're actually they're, they're trying. Uh, it's it's going into the house right now that we're actually going to have some sort of rights. We're trying to get yeah, some sort dude, of rights. And that's what kills me. 
Who the f who the fuck are you? Who the fuck? You're a stewardess. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm getting off of the plane. What would happen? What, what, what would happen, happen if you just pulled over the emergency like, exit and let down that balloon slide and just went <laughs> and just left? What could they do to you? Yeah, well, what do you do then? <laughs> then you just run it around like a clueless animal. You know you're how funny that would look just to see the guy racing across the tarmac? It's just that one little guy in that gigantic open fucking <laughs> runway <laughs> trying to get Dude, away. I'm going to they they would put you in jail. For so fucking long, they 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 charge you with some sort of terrorism because I know when when they took these people off this plane, when these people demanded to get off this goddamn plane, they actually uh, they brought police in. They had like German, sh they had like dogs and shit, and then they sat there watching them like they they were so, they were dangerous on some level. Dude, it's 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 it's, it's uh, it, this needs to be done. It's absolutely ridiculous. The fact that these Dunskis get any sort of authority. Dunskis. Uh, uh, that was terrible, wasn't it? It really was awful. That was like a... Uh, I think Matt from New Jersey might have a point. That was like something that the uh, the great Ragu would say. <laughs> oh, I, don't, uh, I don't even know who that is. From Laverne but all and I Shirley. Know is, is, uh, oh, the big Ragu, that's his name. Carmine from Laverne... Never mind, forget it. The, uh, 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 the fact that these people have any authority over you, it's absurd, dude. They're, you, don't need a, you don't need a degree to work for an airline. You don't need anything. Well, what, you know what is I like about this is finally... Uh, a corporation is fucking with little people, and finally, there's actually somebody trying to do something about it. Like, I, if, if we, like, I was sitting on the plane just feeling that's what we need here. We just need a fucking union. If everybody just stood up and just said, "Bitch, open the fucking door, dude." I sat out there. This is what my deal is. I was in Denver, right? They oversold the flight once again. How do you do that? There's 260 yeah, seats. I love right? it. We oversold the flight. They are scum. They are scum. These airlines are scum. They have taken an inch and ran eight thousand fucking miles. Dude, it's like with Ryan, it. listen. So they oversell they oversell the flight, and then they tell us because of the altitude in Denver and because how hot it is, uh, they they can't put enough gas in, so we can, we can't make it to Newark. We're gonna like crash in Kentucky or something. So we had to fly to fucking St. Louis. <laughs> We land, then we sit there for an hour waiting for the gas guy to come over. He puts gas in the fucking plane, and then what do they do? They drive us over once again off to the side. You think you're taking off, and then they just shut the engines off, and then they're like, yeah, uh, there's a delay in Newark. And it's just like, will you stop? Just stop lying to me. What's going on? Are there too many fucking planes? I don't know what's going on, but you know what? Do we, do we need to take a break here? Because I want to hear some... Uh, no, we have 10 I wanna minutes, he so. Okay. Well, I want to hear some from people out there. This got, we got a guy on the line here who flies every week. I want to know if uh, if they're experiencing the same shit I am. If, if it's just because I'm a comedian and I fly so much that this stuff is happening. And I also want to know, you know, if people are actually going to this, this flyersrights.org, because I, I would love to have some sort of power in that situation. I was literally just sitting there. All the only thing I said was, are you going to feed us? I literally put my hand up like I was in second grade. And they so. didn't feed you, did they? No, they didn't. I got one bag of fucking peanuts. Scumbags. Between, scumbags. between Denver They're and scumbags. Uh, They got a St. free Louis. pass after 9-11, and they took advantage of everybody with it. And that's exactly well, what here's, here's Matt from Arizona. He says he flies all the time. Matt, what's up? Hey, guys. I'm, uh, I'm on a flight every week, and uh, it's all about them opening up the gate for the next group of assholes to fly out. So they get you out and they put you on the tarmac, and uh, we fly from uh, Arizona to Vegas, which is like 20 flights a day, but they want to get you on that flight because you're booked, and you sit there for two hours, and you can't go anywhere. Dude, it's brutal. And you know what the deal is? The second they pull the jetway away from the airplane, it's considered an, an, an on-time departure. So I guess you can't complain and try to get, you know, an extra bag of peanuts or some sort of miles well, or, some, or something like that. What, what's the longest delay you've had? Uh, I've been, you know, I've actually the longest delay I had was uh, about five to six hours. And it was flying out of Boston down to Myrtle Beach with some buddies. And uh, they started giving out beers at first, but then they realized that that probably wasn't the best idea to keep a bunch of guys <laughs> drinking for five to six hours. And uh, shit got a little out of hand, and then we ended up having to sleep in an airport. So uh, I think that's their policy now is they want to get them out of there because I'll just drink in the airport all night and get drunk. Did you did you guys at, did you have to revolt at all? Was there uh, did they get you right to that point? When when did they finally pull the plug? No, they uh, they they ended up pulling back in, and then we we slept in the airport overnight, which is a great time. And then uh, and then they told us we can fly to Cincinnati in the morning, which is a shithole. 
and then we can fly. And then they bump you all around. So really, um, I get a great kick out of like Southwest who does that airline show, and they make everybody like the customer always look bad. But these people are sons of bitches every week when I'm flying. Whenever you got to talk to them about a delay, they don't give a shit when they make them look like great on this A and E show. No, they're 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 scum. They're absolute scum. And you don't face these problems with any other type of public transportation. I take buses constantly and trains constantly when I'm doing tri-state area gigs, and I've never, ever, ever had these problems. <laughs> it's the airlines. They're corporate scum. Absolute well, scum. To what, the mom and pop Greyhound bus station? But I'm serious, dude. I mean, you take Greyhound. They, Dude, Greyhound, it says bus leaves at 12 o'clock, gets in at 1.50. That fucking bus pulls in on the nose every time at 10 of 2. If not early. Well, I'll tell you right now, you, you, get, you get treated. The only difference between taking the bus and flying an airplane is with the bus, at least you won't plunge 30,000 feet to your death. All right, man. Thanks for calling in, man. Well, no, because airline travel is the safest way to travel. You know, these fucking douchebags, they really fed us all this bullshit for all these years. And, uh, like, Joe, like you the, the, the anger you have, you literally sound like you just stepped off the airplane. Dude, it infuriates me, man. I, I went through something once where, where uh, I had to fly from New York to... Uh, to, 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 oh, damn it, where was I going? I was going to like fucking Kentucky or something like that. No, no, no. I was going to Texas. No, no, no. <laughs> I was going to. Maybe you were on a bus to Albany. Joe, I was going and you somewhere. that you actually had a I was gig going where they from New you York. Airplane. I was going from New York to somewhere on the East Coast, right? The goddamn connecting flight was going to be late, or the first flight was late, so we we're going to miss the connecting flight. So I had to fucking fly down into fucking like Florida or some shit and then transfer there and then shoot all the way back up. It was the most harebrained fucking configuration Dude, You know what the flights. worst one is? I can't stand Southwest because I hate how they try to act like they're uh, they're just so relaxed and shit. We gotta take a break coming up? No, go ahead. Yeah. They, you, have you ever flown Southwest? Yeah. First, they all dress like fucking Robin Williams. Yeah. They got like Hawaiian shirts yeah. on and shit. We don't do seat numbers here on Southwest. You just pick any seat you want. Yeah, right? I want a certain level of professionalism, and I want the captain to be in control. But, dude, when they, they pull you off that runway, dude, that's happened, like, I swear to God, like four of the last fucking six flights I've, I've taken. And, and the second they cut those engines, you know you're fucked for the next two hours. They don't dude. feed you. They, they don't bring anything around. It's brutal. Dude, JetBlue's like that, too. They have all those dumb fucking broads <laughs> running the fucking flights. Yeah. And they come on and they're joking around. Oh, looks like we're stuck on the tarmac. Sorry. Yeah, Are you yeah, old yeah. enough to remember when stewardesses used to be good looking? Yep. The second they went to flight attendants, it just became old broads and gay guys. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it's it's it fucking sucks. horrific. And, they, and then, you know, they do the thing, too. I had this fucking guy, this gay dude once. He was pushing, oh. he was pushing the, uh, you know, the drink cart. Uh -huh. He fucking rammed me twice with the drink, drink cart in the leg. And then another time he walks by me and he fucking elbows me in the head. And I buzz the thing and he comes over and he's like, yes, can I help you? And I go, yeah, you want to fucking say excuse me when you elbow me in the head, dude? And he's like, I didn't elbow you. And I go, yeah, you just fucking elbowed me, dude. You know? And he's like, but I'm sorry. But, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a dick. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dick. <laughs> I remember I was Jesus, on one Joe. flight once. I didn't realize this topic was going to bring out the such Jet passion Blue. in you. I was on JetBlue. And, uh, <laughs> Has anything good ever happened to you on an airline? I mean, Never. I'm kind of pissed about this, but I'm no, nowhere near this mad. Never. Uh, I was on a uh, JetBlue once, and the, it was when those Geico commercials were big. I just saved a bunch of money, right? Uh -huh. And the chick comes on the fucking thing. She goes, um, well, everybody, uh, looks like we're going to be sitting here for about an hour. <laughs> We're 19th in line or whatever, right? Sorry. And then she c clicks off. And then she comes back and she goes, but I have some good news. I just saved a bunch of money. We switched to Geico and starts she, laughing. She did that joke? Yeah, dude. And my fucking blood was boiling. Did it Did it bomb? Please tell me it bombed. Yeah, it bombed. Everybody was pissed off. And then I had a, I had a fantasy in my head that... Uh, that I would get to, that I would come on the loudspeaker and go, "Hey everybody, I have bad news. Uh, your plane has just been hijacked, uh, but I have some good news. If you look out your window, you'll see that miserable cunt fall to her death." <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe! <laughs> I'm great. The, and the fan just fell because it's that 90 degrees bit. in here. That was a bit I did for a while on stage. And how did it go, Joe? It went okay for the first couple times, but then... Uh, I gotta admit, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? I didn't like it at all. Why not? Because we have to take a break, Joe. And I had to fucking trash you at some point as we, as we go to break. We got Coming up in the next hour, we're going to be talking uh, about gambling, sports gambling. 
and all that type of shit. Joe, you're a big sports guy, right? No. That's one thing I can be sure of when you rent my apartment. Okay, I'm sure you'll be jerking off in every fucking room, but you will not be watching Sports Center at any point. All that right, is we'll be... the, that is the good news. Okay, the only good news I got. All right, we'll be right back with Uninformed. Call Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa right now, 866-WOW-1-WOW. That's 866-969-1969. All right, we're back. Uninformed, Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa going into the second hour here. We actually do have phones, <clears throat> finally. What the hell's the number here? The number is uh, 866-WOW-1-WOW. We're going to be talking about sports gambling and that type of shit in the next hour. And who better of a guest to have <laughs> when discussing sports gambling? Than Mr. Doug Signe, good friend and comedian. Yeah. Hello. Extraordinaire. How you doing, uh, you What's up, Doug? Not much, thanks background, for having me A little in. background. Doug is... Uh, Doug's Great comic, Great living comic. here in New York City. And, tours uh, a bunch with Robert Schimmel, or has toured a bunch with Robert Schimmel, so you might have seen him out there on the road. He's actually from the Boston Robert area, Schimmel. so he is a Red Sox fan. Yep. Huge. Which I'm sure is going to piss off uh, good. a good 46%. Did they win or lose tonight? They, they were up 12 to 2 on the bottom of the ninth, so I'm, oh, I'm they hoping they won. How did they lose last night? They 11th won last night. I they thought won, the I thought they, Yankees lost last night. Oh, the Yankees lost. I yeah. thought the Red Sox, uh, Yankees are winning right now, seven two. But the Red Sox are winning. What the is Red this Sox that's won. going on right now? Right. Um, oh, is this you the know World what? Series. This this is. <laughs> this is gonna, from this, Philadelphia. This, this is going to be great. <laughs> Joe knows yeah. absolutely nothing about sports, and one thing I've noticed about people who know nothing about sports, what they instead of wearing like stupid Red Sox or Yankees or Philly shit, they wear like band. <laughs> Shirts <laughs> like he's got a, a Zappa silhouette T-shirt, yep. you know. Yeah. Were you one of those guys in high school? Fucking jocks. <laughs> they were hanging you from your locker. Uh, you know, I, I definitely use. Just the answer the question. I use. Did the you get the shit kicked out of you or not? No, I, I was. Damn it! I was actually kind of popular for half of the time of high school. Wait a minute. Oh. How, how many classes? How many kids were in your class? Just in a class of like three hundred. And you were one of the go-to guys. I was a musician. I was cool. They thought it was cool. I was in fucking bands. I was in rock bands. That was like cool. Oh, we know. Nobody we, gave we, a shit about we, the. Ball. We did hear some of his great singing at the top of the show. <laughs> oh, nobody, Jesus nobody Christ. gave a shit about the baseball team, Bill. People liked me because I played drums and I sang in a band, and that was a lot fucking cooler than the shirt you bought at Models. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just got to know. What is, has that developed you into anything, though, being a musician and so forth? Usually, You know what's funny? I saw Joe comedian. play drums one time. He looked like fucking Herman Munster. <laughs> <laughs> he almost demolished the kid. And, and then, he, then he said the most annoying thing he's ever had, said, I hit hard, man. Like that was his rep. <laughs> like he was some hired gun. Yeah. Hey, man. I play I'm hard. Drums. I play fast. I play hard. Oh, it was terrible. I work hard. I play harder. It was, it was absolutely <laughs> fucking terrible. So anyways, Joe... Sports, uh, you know, it's something that, I don't know, it's something that a lot of uh, heterosexual nope. men are actually into. Well, what a heterosexual activity it is to watch other men sweat and run into one another. On oh, as opposed to what? It, Fucking having Iggy Pop sweat all over you in the yeah. front row? I mean, you're acting like it's so manly to watch men ride around in tight fucking pants with their bulges showing. I never noticed they had There's tight pants. There's something slightly homoerotic about it. Yeah, that's it's UFC wrestling. shit. <laughs> that's football, too, and baseball. No, it no, isn't. They don't wear tight all. pants in baseball. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They do too. Joe, what? Cha why does your voice go up anytime anybody argues with you? <laughs> yes, they do. Cause they do too. Because I have a little pussy sports, and I get my feelings hurt. Aren't manly. <laughs> I'm just curious though, how you grew up in the Philadelphia area, which is one of the, you know, it's it, a premier sports city to say the least, and not. Ever. Yeah, you got you got four sports. All teams. that says to me, and I hate to say it, is, is if you're from a city like that and you're not into sports. You didn't have a good relationship with your dad because <laughs> that's what kids my dad's do. My not into sports either. Oh my God! Then this, not, this let me tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> For the you know billionth year in a row, whatever, go into a bar or a restaurant or wherever people may be watching an Eagles game and hear E A G L E A E. Hear that and go, and you're like, I'm. These fucking people, I never want to be around them ever. It's the most annoying. You scared, Joe? No, it's annoying. You scared of the the aggressive my cousin, energy? My cousin got married, and they were doing. How did you the not Eagles get the shit slapped out of table. you from the bridal? Just picture the Doug. Just picture Joe without whiskers. 
<laughs> I mean, how could you not just want to slap one of those Dude, baby fat all, cheeks? All the, uh, all the jocks, all the jocks in my school wanted to fucking hang out with, uh, uh, Joe, with the I'm guys sick in the band. You, you know yeah, what? I you want had... somebody from Joe's fucking high school to call yeah. up and just say how exactly fucking cool Joe DeRosa yeah. was. If they were the hang I'm not saying these... I didn't have my Joe, hard time. you're making yourself out like you were fucking Steven Tyler. No, like I'm you were not. walking down the hall with a mic stand with scarves no, hanging I'm off not. of it. Yeah. Because I didn't blown do... in between because, your classes. Because I didn't do the mundane, regular, pen-in-on-the-wall horse shit that you guys did. Because oh, I didn't have a cookie cutter. he was a trailblazer. Because I didn't there have a cookie-cutter childhood. I'm a fucking weirdo, and it's not true. So I first just like you First of all, Joe, you didn't make it as a musician. <laughs> so stop acting like you invented a new kind of music. All right, you were a nerd. You played some bongos. I didn't try to make it as a musician. nerd friends and watch Star Trek. I didn't try to make it as a musician. Well, was that a front you, for the you weed were dealing? Huh? You're full of shit. You told me you first did music. I did. And then after a while, you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. No, no, no. I said I, I wasn't enjoying playing in bands anymore because of the tension of dealing with other guys. But you weren't trying to I make it? I still play music. You, 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 My you band just toured. I, I still play. My, but you came and saw us. That was the Dude, last You were doing an alternative room and you rapped and it was that, a joke. That was the last show of our tour. <laughs> what do you mean your <laughs> band? Wait a minute. You're talking like you booked at fucking OzFest. Jesus, Joe. <laughs> Bill, we toured up the fucking East Coast. We did five fucking shows in a row in five different cities. That's a tour. Do you guys have a Every bit as legitimate as a comic so going if, on the road. If, if I have five college gigs in a weekend to make my rent, I'm on a tour or Look, am I just I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Gigs, I'll tell you what this. You were told to do for five Dude, nights. I'll tell you this. We did fucking shows in uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and we had people that we never met that we didn't know that drove up from fucking Birmingham to see us. We did. They called no, meth I mean, addicts. Pe pe people come came out to fucking comedy works in Denver to see me. I wasn't on tour. I was in Denver. You were on the road. You took your band. You took your act on the road as a professional comedian. So how is that different from me taking my band on the road as a professional band? We made money. We were paid to do it. How is that any different? I don't wow, understand. Wow, Bill, I don't know. He's, I, do you have a tour manager? Yeah. <laughs> do you exactly. have roadies? <laughs> when does the DVD come out? I had him. Can I see you on IFC, behind the scenes, All Joe right. DeRosa on tour? I'm just saying, Joe, you got a little bit of a God complex. It's not a God complex. I just want to get your fucking voice up in that register that it's I It's not like. a God complex. <laughs> it's not a God complex. Stop it. You're doing the, you want me to go, you're right, I stink. I'm the worst. I'm That's not, not going to do it. I'm the comedians. I'm not doing I, I it. Don't. I'm I, a good I, musician. I stand by that. And you stand by it, too. You were full of fucking whoa, whoa, compliments whoa, that whoa, night. Whoa, No, 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 no. I thought what you did, the rap thing and everything, I thought it was really funny. Do I think you're Jay-Z? No, you did it in a fucking comedy room, and I said it was funny. You said it, took it a was lot of awesome. Balls. You said it was awesome. You said musically you liked it. You said it was really well it done. It was really funny and all that. Well, what do you think? You just okay, shit whoa, because whoa, it's whoa, a joke. Whoa, there's whoa, no there's whoa, no whoa, skill whoa, involved? Let, let, let's time out, dude. Time the fuck out. I, I was talking about comedy. That's what I was talking about. Everyone was doing comedy there that night, and it's I love what comedic. you did. I thought it was great, dude, without a fucking doubt. For you now to act like you walk into Guitar Center and people start whispering, oh, Joe DeRosa's here. No, I didn't I say that. I didn't say that. pick up the fucking bongos. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But my point is, where do you think the music and the lyrics for all so that shit come from? where did the from? fun go in where, the show? Can where, you raise your eyebrows where, to half a But let me ask you a question. Where do you think the music and the lyrics come from? Doug Sengye is our guest do you here think to talk somebody, about sports. Do you think yes. somebody just mails that stuff to us? We have to fucking create it. That that's musicianship. That's wow. skill. The that's problem talent. with comedy. Wow. It wouldn't be as good. <laughs> trust Jesus, me. I, I had a real sensitive. Joe because, doesn't like to fly. And goddamn it, don't make fun of his fucking. Because group. I get <laughs> fucking annoyed because comics do. Let, let me say this, and then we'll get into the sports stuff. Because I get annoyed because every comic I talk to pulls that shit where they're like, "It's just a joke," which which is the equivalent of going, "It doesn't take any effort or talent." You and know it's what? Bullshit. I bet Billy Bob Thornton gets mad when they make fun of his band too. Yeah. <laughs> and he's played on the View. Hey, he's been on TV. Hey. I saw it, Joe. I'm in another band. We're putting out a real CD that's not funny. I'll play you that, and then you can say that that's actually good. Jesus, Joe. You know, actually what? Tenacious good. Tea. Good. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, Joe, we actually have a couple people on the radio uh, here saying that they don't listen, they don't watch sports, and they're, they, this guy, good. Will. I love it. Will, Everybody's Will, on my side Will's saying he's a uh, manly man. Will, what's Hello? up? Yeah. Will, hey, man, you don't listen to sports, and you're a manly man? Yeah, I'm a very manly man. You know, I take it off the pooper every now and then, but, you know, it's oh, fine. God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I hate when guys attendance. do the setup like that. He stayed that. On, on hold for like fucking 10 minutes. All right, man. Thank what? you for calling. All right. <laughs> you hear his voice? What? Yeah, went up high just like yours. Now, I, hey, Lamar, you're on. You say you're not into sports? Yeah, yeah. I'm not into sports, man. I'm also uh, somewhat of a musician. I played in, in college and in high school. 
Okay. But, uh, I think we give more pussy than the jocks do, actually. Thank you very well, much. Well, you know what? I think you guys rape a lot less. <laughs> like, I, I would say <laughs> that. The, who do you think? That, what, do you, what, what sport do you think has the biggest date rapist? Oh, football, absolutely. Really? Yeah. I absolutely do. Yeah, I'd say football. Absolutely. From they, the little also, I, know. I think you guys complex. are going with the obvious choice. Also, oh. during the uh, volleyball season. <laughs> During the football Fencing. season, we're banging the uh, the football players' and girls while they're while they're at practice all, all all season. Wow, you know, if you didn't start it through that whole thing, I would actually believe believed it. it yeah, <laughs> but it's true. Though. You guys are too busy smoking weed to just chase broads. Come on, you know right. where did and where are you from, buddy? DC. DC. There you go. There you Look, go. Dude, I, I got. I got. You miss. can be from DC and have some culture and things like that. Yeah. And uh, Boston, we drink beer and watch the Sox. All right, all right. You see what I'm saying here? How he he's he's putting himself Angry. up on a pedestal. I'm not putting myself you, you on a pedestal. Are, like you're this, acting like this, like this guy has. I'm not saying that that people who who fucking watch sports are the shit. I was just teasing you for that, and all of and a sudden, I'm fucking with you. you no, you were serious, Joe. I got mad Your when eyebrows, you made it sound like I didn't have any musical ability because. Because the one thing that you saw me do was humorous. I it still takes musical. It's like saying Tenacious D doesn't have musical ability. They're great hey, guitar Joe, let players. Let me tell you something, dude. I've worked with guitar acts on the road. Yes, they they're fucking. They can play guitar a lot better than I can. All right. Um, am I am I fucking you know? I'm gonna play I mean, you my band. I, I, are they, are they I'm gonna play my band. The Dixie Chicks. You know? I'm gonna play my band where I sang. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna well. play my band where oh, I sang, and I'm gonna play my band where I play the drums. And you're gonna change your little tune there, you little redhead. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I, I really I really don't think, you know what, I got to tell you something, Doug. If we can get back on fucking course here and stop talking about like, Joe's needing his vo validation as a musician. Let's play it on the air next episode. Huh? Why don't you we know see what? if the callers want to do that? Next episode, this I'll, I'll right bring here. in my band. Dustin, what's up? Arizona, you want to hear some of Joe's music? Fuck yeah, I want to hear some of his music. Okay. He said we it was terrible. I thought he was going to bring it in. This week on the last show, he said he was going to bring in some tapes. No, I was going to bring in my... I don't have them. I was going to bring in my old rap tapes when I was in high school. Those are horrific. Those are, are horrific. Look, and that's what you I'm saying. I, I think they're at my mom's house, and she lives in Florida. I can't find them. Trust me, I, I would bring them in, though. Here. I'd bring them okay. in if I had them. All right, all right, all right, Dustin. Thanks. Okay, Joe, what, whatever, man. Dude, sorry. You know, what the fuck? I didn't think he was going to take this goddamn serious. I thought it would be a little little dig at Joe. No, and then, then we go into the sports thing. There's no thing, need to apologize. Then, dude, when your eyebrows, I'm telling you. There's no need to fuck, apologize. I'm going to get a picture of you him on the fucking website when you know yeah, Joe. Really. is. You know what it is. Joe's fucking Egyptian bushy eyebrows, they, 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 they start to meet. <laughs> they start coming down. <laughs> you it's said right. what you said. You're deliberately trying to talk in a calm voice, I know, here, Joe. I know how you're you feel. Quivering. You've made your you've made your point. I know your opinion on my talent. I'm glad I know it now. Oh, I would have wow. to go well, through. He, he really <laughs> <end> it. Seriously, <laughs> you can't end a conversation as bad. Is, man. I'm that just is awful. I'm just joking. It's like a parent going, "You are the reason we got divorced." Dude, I'm, I'm I did want to tell you. Right I'm, you. I'm, I'm right joking. Now. If you go out, if you go out to go see Joe in, in his live rap thing, you're not going to be disappointed. It was fucking great. I was totally entertained and all that type of oh, stuff. Go fuck that's, yourself. That's what I'm saying. I, no, no. I want. I want to <laughs> clarify this. You. Just you, Burr is backpedaling. <laughs> I'm, I'm not backpedaling. Yeah, no, I, I want to clarify. I want to clarify, dude, because I'm not saying like. But dude, I saw you play drums. You sucked. He hits well. You suck. He, he, oh, he hit hard, dude. <laughs> Bill, my, Bill. My, my kit never recovered. Bill, and Bill, he goes, and Bill, he, had, he had that same stupid Bill, attitude. Bill, Shut up, Bill. That's Bill. insulting. Oh, my, I hit hard, man. Bill, Bill, that's insulting. What my opinion? I, no, I don't suck, my, Bill. My, my I played, opinion? Bill, Bill. I play. I was a jazz drummer for years in in high school. I was the main jazz Jesus drummer. Jesus Christ, of Doug, our jazz how, how band. Good, how good was the band in, in your fucking high school? Bill, let me finish. Let me finish. Can you let our guests? We have a guest. I played drums. I played drums. I played. We have a fucking guest. Don't say I sucked at drums. That's a really, uh, that's a really. I said it, and I'll say it again. That's a Joe. really bold, fucking empty statement you're making. It's not bold. And it's, it's insulting. Not empty. I saw it, and you, no, you it, watched it, it, me play your set for two minutes, and you, as usual, you went for the joke instead of actually letting me play something. You made fun no, of you, how hard you, I was hitting your drums when I hadn't played in a year. Destroying when I hadn't played in a year. He was, he was yeah, I was destroying it. The fucking kit. Because Billy plays like a fucking eight-year-old that's sitting on the kit for the first time. Is is it? Okay? Will it break if I hit it this hard? <laughs> yeah, it's called dynamics and then accents. All right, sorry. Joe, Joe hits, I don't spend my 
my time Joe, watching Joe DVDs. Like, uh, hey, well, uh, maybe, maybe you'd get a little bit better, Joe. Well, I played in bands, Bill. Did you? I played in bands. I auditioned yeah, yeah, for Joe, bands that I, I got did, into. Joe. I played. I, in, I played in I, several I, Joe, different I rock did, bands. I did Bill. that geek shit, and then I also then oh, went yeah, into comedy. Shit. I then went into comedy, dude. You know what? If you don't make it, you're you stink. I didn't stay in it long enough to make it. I didn't try to make it. I started doing comedy, and I did that. Quit on your career, buddy. You quit on it. And you know what? It's an itch you still want to fucking scratch. And I can't wait till you make it in the fucking movies. So then you can put together your little stupid Billy Bob fucking side project. Rap slash r and like, fucking thing. I don't like how you're rapping your insult in the compliment. I can't wait till you're a movie star. Because that's what you're so going then, at. That's what you're going for. Because no, that, that is what you're good at. You you're, better. you're good at this shit, dude. And I told you you were good in your fucking comedy room. And you little cunt, you couldn't even fucking take it. You're actually pissed because I watched you fucking beat the shit out of my fucking... I'm not a bad drummer. Uh, my, it, I'm not a bad drummer. For those of you listening at home, Billy I, has stood up I and is finger pointing. I, 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 I will challenge you. Finger pointing. I will challenge you. Like a bad call. <laughs> I will challenge you. <laughs> to what? To a drum off. Ooh. And I haven't played in two years. Okay, Joe. What do you want to do this, Joe? Where do you want to put the fucking drum kit in here? Because I'll do it. I'll do it all in a I fucking want... minute. Next time we come here, we'll have a fucking drum roll. And just want... know that I know that I suck, unlike you. You don't who suck! Actually think That's you're the shit. That's what it shit. really is. That's what it really is. Bill thinks he sucks, so he's no, going to no, no, take no, it no, out on no. everybody else Doug, and say that they Doug, suck. Doug, I swear to God we're going to get to you in All right. I I'm, know I suck I'm because, you know, what, you, you know when you, when you like... I'm, de I'm for a comedian, I'm decent, right? But when I go to Guitar Center, every f other fucking time I come in there, not only is everybody better than me, but there's always like that fucking 11-year-old prodigy, and they dude, they're fucking insane. And I'm just looking at it like, I do not have it when it comes to this shit. What annoys me about this guy is he's talking like like he's, I don't know, like like I see you in Modern know, Drummer there's Magazine. Bill, there's obviously levels of ability, but that's like saying Dave Grohl sucks because he's not Chester Thompson. It's a ridiculous statement Exactly. Isn't that like it, Joe DeRosa, Dave Grohl? You guys are definitely going on two different tangents. You're both great comics. That's a crazy uh, I think Billy was just getting on the fact that you made it sound like no. in high school you walked around and people wanted to touch you because your ability to play. All I drum. said hey, was, Joe, he's all I, I mean, Doug, all, Doug, 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 there's doing. no mediating on this show. You gotta have a strong opinion. One of us is fucking uh -huh. full of shit. All I honestly Joe, said was, he asked me if I was a door guy. I said, no, I was actually kind of popular. So I was honest. What am I gonna do? Lie? No, William's a door guy. Dude, I was only. <laughs> I was kidding. Dude, this fucking guy. I'm enjoying this. You know what, Joe? I'm enjoying you this. You were a popular guy. You got your dick sucked every day. I and didn't. I never got John pussy. John Bonham, you are one of my big, biggest influences as a there drummer. If okay. I could somehow that's all, that's fucking all, hit as hard was, as you, Joe. That's all I was asking for. Was all that right, too much to Bring your to voice say? down. Bring your voice down, Joe. <laughs> Bring your fucking voice down. I think it got lost in translation when he said he didn't get any pussy in high school. <laughs> I didn't. Then you weren't a good musician. I didn't get laid till I was 21. And weren't the cool Are you guys? Serious? Dude, I went to Catholic high school, dude. So you know I went to Catholic Memorial and yeah, you, know you got more ass than All right, all right, all right. All right. Doug, Doug, <laughs> Doug, let's back up a second. You're in high school. You're a cool guy. You're in a band. You're, you're getting laid. Left and right. You're getting laid. I don't even have to pay for weed. Yes. In I my in way it worked I in my high school. I didn't drink or smoke weed in high school. In way it either. worked in my fucking high school. I didn't if drink dude, or smoke. Oh, just knocked over the fan. If the dude was a fucking cool guy and he was in a band, he got laid. We had guys calling up. This guy, we got a lot of pussy being in a band. Let's talk to Mark All right. right here. Let, let's talk to Mark. I bet he was a cool guy in high school. Mark, what's up, man? You're on the air. You said uh, you got a lot of pussy being in a band. Oh, oh hell yeah. Absolutely. Now, were you popular yeah, in high yeah, school? Damn right. Um, no, I wasn't that popular. But but you played um, in a band. The, 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 I played in several rock bands. I got I had two albums out before I left high school. How old were you when you got laid? How old was I? First uh, time. Fifteen. Fifteen, Joe. Here's yeah, a guy Bill. played in a band, wasn't popular, Bill, and he got laid. I at hooked 15. up with a six years Bill. in front of this fucking this big up, man on campus over I here. I hooked up with a ton of chicks. <laughs> I hooked up with a ton of chicks. I was mentally fucked up about getting laid. I was afraid that fucking sex, and it took me till 21 hey, to get dude, over. Hey, dude, this isn't Dr. Phil, yeah, that's all right? Fucking this isn't Dr. I don't want to hear well, about your fucking molestation. Have, have, a dad, have a dad who's a deacon and, uh, you know, and all oh, that shit. explains and see, why you don't you know, understand sports. Your that's dad was awful. a deacon? My dad is a deacon. 
Oh Sorry, man. Gosh. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is yeah. say that he sucks being a deacon because yeah. I don't need Joe to be yelling at me again. <laughs> you don't know what it means. <laughs> well, you know. See, that was a hardcore deacon. Catholic. De- is, is a deacon is now like an, an assistant priest? Basically, yeah. It's that show Big Almost. Love. He bangs a lot of bitches in the parish. That's, no. <laughs> That's Mormons. <laughs> Same shit. That's when you're Irish Catholic, it's all evil. Everyone goes to see your dad. Like, I did this. He's like, come on in. Take your clothes off. We'll Jesus talk about Doug. <laughs> I think I think he's bringing up a decent point. How much Dude. scandal is in that? The word he's bringing up a de- up. about my dad. He's That's bringing like, up a decent point. That's I, like, I, I this is coming from the guy that didn't want to talk about his dad at all in the air because you didn't want to portray him in a poor light. I didn't bring and him up. He's talking about I my dad him up. fucking people in the I, church. I didn't bring I him didn't up. Say in Joe, the first of all, it's out there. Okay, it's a national story. Okay, so to suggest that your dad did what everybody, 90% of the other Dude, deacons I'm out serious. there were doing. this isn't fucking cool. It's my dad, and he's got a fucking career as a deacon, mm-hmm. and this is not a very fucking funny or cool thing to insinuate about him right now. That I'm what? being very serious. All right. All right, Dick. Fucking keep smiling up there. <laughs> but, you know, I got to tell you something. This has been the most fun 20 minutes I've ever done on this fucking show. We can, Dude, really... I'm serious. It's all right, Joe, all right, cool. all right. We can trash right, my Joe, dad. He's everybody a knows your dad didn't fucking molest anybody. Jesus, the fact that you get mad makes it seem like you got something to hide, Joe. Stop it. <laughs> big, big love. <laughs> My dad actually got caught Joe, do you get uncomfortable when you, when you hear organ music? <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking down drawing right now, but he's not drawing anything. All right, I'm Joe. Joe I, I, I don't, don't want to do this to you. All right, fuck it. All right, you know what? We the crossed pen. the line. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. let's, let's just back up 20 minutes. Joe was one of the greatest of drummers I've ever seen. Love tie He was one of the most popular guys ever in the f- greater Philadelphia area in high school, and his dad at no time has ever molested anybody. But his dad had a strong influence on him not wanting to get naked <clears throat> no. with women. The Catholic Church in my upbringing had a strong influence on me. Oh. And you being actually afraid of that sex. shit? I was afraid. <laughs> Dude, I had fucking teachers tell me from the time I was in sixth grade that if you had sex, you were going to get AIDS. What the fuck? I was terrified, dude. I went to a fucked up Close my. You went Catholic to an uninformed school. high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was fucking terrified, and I was afraid. I was disease paranoid for years. I was afraid of. I was afraid to have sex. It was more the disease than anything, and it Whatever. took me to twenty. Uh, Joe, we got, we got, we got, a, we got a, a guy wants to call in to say hello. Hey, Russ, what's up, man? Who'd you want to say hello to? Yo, what's up? It's hey, up, man. Bill. Uh, I just wanted to say hi to the Bill Burr and fucking John Bonham fucking show there. <laughs> yeah. He's such an amazing drummer. Yeah, he's so amazing. He hosts a radio show. Well, yeah. A lot of people didn't know this before John Bonham passed away. He had a radio show in the works that he was going to do Saturday nights, and he, all the other members of Led Zeppelin were really irritated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, he's mad, Russ. We gotta go. Ba- we gotta. We gotta clear oh, his. Fuck him. It's the fucking deal of being in barrel, man. Really? Is yeah. that what the deal is, Russ? You fucking nothing. Is that what the deal is? Joe, what are you doing? Joe, this is one of our eighteen you, listeners. Mr. Joe DeRosa. I've what? heard of Bill Burr, and I like Bill Burr. Really? Because he's been in the you. business twenty-seven years longer than me. <laughs> That's why you've heard of him, Russ. I've been in the business for six he's years. One of, one of the best fucking drummers that ever lived or will ever live, and you do. Really? Was he rough? Was he one of the best? <laughs> Never lived, never will fucking live. All he's doing is imitating uh, you, Russ, was. which means you're winning. All right, Russ, thanks for calling in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't. Go uh, fuck yourself. Jesus, Joe, come on. Well, I got to tell you, I don't see the side of Joe in the comedy clubs. I really don't. I'm, yeah, I'm no, upset I, about the dad thing. I don't think that was I, a cool I, place. I think you were a little I, upset before we got, before we got to that point. I did that. I apologize as a guest. I shouldn't have you know, made your co-host laugh. I apologize. I, I bash my, my dad. My dad is a great man. So is it mine, but he's a dick. It's like that's the that's the double yeah. edged sword. He's yeah, an it's asshole. Not a dick. Well, I mean, yeah, no, no, look, 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 you have nothing. Yeah, but you you, you understand nothing. his point too. Yeah, being, being a dick and going all the way to uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah being on the set of different things. But hey, my dad's a millman. Translation: alcoholic, degenerate, gamble. Deacon. The first thing that comes to my mind right. as a comedian is but sex I didn't scandal. Say, that's I didn't, all that. I didn't say your dad fuck kids. Like, see? cause he's a mailman. Mailman, no fuck kids. And they also, fuck the wife. Joe, you're guys arguing away. semantics here. Also, <laughs> also, your dad's community doesn't go to church every week to watch him hand out mail to people. And go, oh, that's Mr. Sinier, yeah. the mailman. I heard on the radio some guy said he fuck kids. No, but you they, see the difference. Joe, like, you're giving this show way too much power. Yeah. Okay. You're First right. Of all, like any when, of these people go when, to church. When, when, when you yelled ridiculous. at Russ, you just pissed off at least a third of our audience. No, just I didn't. By tra- 
trashing him alone. No, he, I didn't. he represents the third, is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, I got you. All right, my dad's right, a so. good man, and I and I All honestly right. have one. And I want what you said stricken from the record. One serious <laughs> okay. quick question, just quickly. I don't yes. even know what a deacon does. I'm being dead. He's serious. like a priest, but he's allowed to be married and stuff. Okay, so he actually gives the mass. He uh, no, okay. just ain't all he gives. He just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he set it up. He set he it up. Sorry, Bill. He Sorry. does stop passing he me does notes. Part of the, uh, he does part of the mass. Okay. Hands out communion, stuff like that, you know? And people do go to him when they have problems in the community. He's the guy, uh, can no, I talk to you? No, no, They They That's, go to the priest for that. Okay. My dad is like the guy, like, when somebody's too sick and she's like, oh, I'm dying, I need communion. So your he dad thought about really okay. going okay. into right. you guys, you know, religion, and he says, I still want to have sex, though. Listen, guys. No, no, no. He was guys, married, you're going to have to argue with the, about this during the break, okay? As we go into break, we're gonna, we're actually, we got a guy on hold asking if the, can the Falcons win without Michael Vick. We're going to talk about that because Joe has some opinions on dogfighting. And uh, okay. when we come back with uninformed, Joe's father is a is an upstanding citizen. And you can trust him. Okay, he's the greatest deacon. He's almost as good a deacon as Joe DeRosa is <laughs> a drummer. All right, <laughs> uh, you're listening to uninformed. We'll be right back. It's uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. All right, bad religion. Yeah. Is that you on drums, Joe? It was not. Uh, right. but anyway, we're, we're back. Bad Religion, Stranger Than Fiction, the album. Go buy it. Okay. Uninformed. Bill Burr, our guest, Doug Signe, and my co-host, Keith Moon, over here. <laughs> um, dude, you know what we decided during the break for everybody out there? Because we actually have a lot of people like musicians and stuff were, uh, were on the phones there. I think because Danny, Danny just brought, bought my electronic kit. Right. Danny plays drums. You play drums. I play drums. All at different horrific levels. There's no way we can't have a fucking drum battle in this show, man. We got to do it, and there's got to be a prize for who wins. Oh, yeah, and you know what, Joe? I think all the shit you've been talking, I think you're the odds-on favorite to just blow <laughs> yeah. everybody away, putting maybe, all the pressure on you. Maybe. It's, what? <laughs> what? Yankees yeah. 7, Tigers 2 is the final. See, uh, now I bet that game, and I lost it tonight, and uh, they had nine runs through five innings. And as Vegas had it, the over it was nine and a half. So for five innings, they couldn't score one run. Now, that's when you're a gambler and you think games are fixed. And you think, you think stuff. You know, before we get into sports are fixed, five innings. before we get into that shit, let's talk about this Michael Vick. This poor guy has been sitting on hold for the last 15 minutes. Hey, man, Chris in Atlanta. What's up, man? Hey, Chris. Hello. Did he die? He maybe just hung up. Hello. Hello. Jesus Christ. It's okay. Oh, no, you know what? I'm not clicking. Here we go. Hello, Chris. Yeah, what's going on, Bill? Hey, man, I got two mouses over here, and I'm, I got too many mouses over here. What's going on, man? Uh, so I'm just wondering what me as a Falcon fan has done to deserve the crappy team the Falcons are. Every time we get close to something, when we get screwed up, is there a chance we can get the championship? This what do you got? You got uh, Joe, Joey Harrington? <laughs> yeah. Joey Harrington, well, he, he was at the Lions. Somebody yeah. plays with the Lions, you got to be like, it's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> those, that's, that's one of those teams, man. It's just like their whole team has to be like Heisman Trophy number one draft choices. It's like they've sucked my whole life. Other than they, they had yeah. Billy Sims for a minute. Right. They never built around him. Then they had Barry Sanders. And well, it, I mean, even, though, even at one point, we had um, crap Green Bay Packers, uh, Brett Favre. You guys Packers, had Brett Favre, Favre and you let him go. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. What, what do you think about this whole dogfighting thing? That's what we really want to be talking about. I mean, the reason why you don't have uh, the Michael Jordan of quarterbacks, at least as far as his uh, athletic ability. Yeah, he's unbelievable. <laughs> actually, actually, right now in uh, Atlanta, y'all might find this funny. The Atlanta Humane Society has taken all donations of Michael Vick jerseys. They're cleaning out dog pens with them and using them as security blankets for the puppies. I saw that's, that. You Larry know something? See that. That's something I just, it just, it, it takes it too far. No, no, no. People, people, exactly. it's not, they're accepting the jerseys. People from all over the country are sending them in. Oh, yeah. The great thing yeah, is some, they're cutting his name off the back and then putting the seven up and dogs are using it to pee on. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's that, that is, that is I don't well, know. People are sending it in. They're not asking people to do it. What that's, is the, uh, uh, so he plays. All right, Chris, thanks for calling, man. He okay. plays for the Falcons, Michael Vick? Well, he plays now for a penitentiary, but he did he's play the guy, for the Joe, even if he, he Joe, even if he's not into sports, he's gotten to like a Paris Hilton level of attention here. I know, because he, he's the pit bull Yeah, he, 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 uh, he fought dogs. <laughs> Like I mean, it's it's to me, it's just more bizarre, you know. Beating your wife, you know, killing your wife, fucking drugs. That's right. what I'm used to. And then all of a sudden, this stuff came out of nowhere. And it, yeah, what would be his interest in having Pipples fight at his house? Like, what? What's? 
I don't understand why you would risk everything for that. You know, I agree with you. Like, why would? It's what's an, the attraction? It's a lack of intelligence. To to go serious for a minute, it's awful. He, he bought a house for his cousins, his brother, whoever it was. They were living in this house, and they wanted to set up a dog kennel. It was new N E W Z dogs. Right. And then he would go there and for entertainment, and he would bet they say thirty, forty thousand a fight. But that's outrageous. He has the largest contract, $100 million in NFL history. His endorsements <laughs> triple that. It's just a mentality that's awful. It, and, and, and he surrounded himself with idiots, for lack of a better word. Fucking idiots. And it's bad. And now the guy's lost everything. Well, I mean, that's, you know, but, uh, today... You're, you're a gambling man. You wouldn't, you right, wouldn't want to get in on some of that? No. I like to gamble to win 500 bucks. What's the most bucks. fucked up thing you've gambled on? Oh, God. I mean, nothing Like really. the most bizarre sport. I don't like I mean, the Olympics. Oh You're no, betting we, on like a oh, gymnast. No. I can beat you on that. We used to create gambling stuff in college where we would spray raid into the wall of our uh, house uh -huh. and bet on how many roaches would come out. Five to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, and we'd have a board in the pool and we would do that. We'd spray and within a minute, how many roaches came out? You didn't have a television? Yeah, but this was stuff we wanted to do. <laughs> Three, four in the morning, smoking weed, cocked at UMass Amherst. How many roaches can we get out? And we'd scoop them up, put them in a barrel, and then re-put them back into the wall. We built a wall, and we'd spray raid into it, and they'd run out. I mean, that's pretty pretty bizarre to bet on roaches. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ! Oh. How much? It's fucking nasty. Personality. What's the most you ever lost? I lost, the I lost $15,000 at my brother's bachelor party in Vegas, but that's when I was on Wall Street and I was making a lot of money. I lost fifteen grand in three days. How much are you making a week? If you, if you, uh... oh, I was making upwards of $250,000 at a whack. I mean, this is a week? Dot com. No, no, a week? God, I made $250,000 my second year out of college, so that was... Jesus Christ. Can you imagine having that oh, much money Oh, wait a minute. You, yeah, you, you, you were, you were, he was down uh, there before he did comedy. He was down there yeah. with the whole dot-com shit. Yeah, it was Remember ridiculous. That? He was doing boiler room. He was yeah. down doing fucking boiler room. Easy, Joe. Don't go there. Yeah, easy, Joe. <laughs> Jesus, I'm my serious. dad and I work together. <laughs> I'm serious. Did you Joe. notice, by the way, when the fan gets knocked over, how much more quiet the whole thing is? Do you hear the fucking noise? I the like fan? the background of the fan. The, uh, fan, is, the fan is a good thing. It's like thing. when you listen to the news and you hear the ch 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 whatever. Dude, what do you think about this This NBA? This First of all, everybody calling in is saying... They're saying Vic is done with football. This guy here is trying to say cockfighting is as bad as dog fighting. I don't think it is because I don't think there's anything worse than the sound of a dog Oops. yelping. Yeah, and, and cockfighting is run by Latinos, so they're not really on the big oh. hit list of, you know. Hang on a FBI. second. Will, Will in Illinois, you're saying cockfighting is as bad as dog fighting? No, I actually don't think it's as bad. Uh, dogs, you know, they've got personalities and, uh, you know, their band's best friend whereas, co uh, you know, chickens, roosters, what, what are they? They just, uh, they've got these dead eyes and... Yeah, but, but who, who, who got who got caught for cockfighting? Nobody. Nobody. No. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. I just, I just wondered right. if you guys thought it was a... It was as bad no, it's a fucking fight. chicken. I eat right. chickens. I don't eat dogs. Look, right. I, I, so, I yeah, think I don't, I don't no, I, I disagree. I think if it's if it's look, you're gonna damn one, you gotta damn the other. It's not. No, you know, it's it's not the matter. It's not the the issue is not a dog or a chicken dying. It's the inhumaneness in which they are being killed or whatever. So and you know, I eat chicken. First of I'm sure all, they're not killed in a humane roosters way anyway. Well, fucking go at it anyways. That's what they do. That's what people do. Yeah, but, no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. That's a, that's that's an ignorant thought. They're bred if, that if, way. If, if you if you bring them up that way, that's the way they're gonna be. They they they're like they're like people, only dumber, right? <laughs> okay, Bill. I'm acting like I'm a breeder. I have no fucking idea, but I know I've I've met some nice pit bulls. Yeah, so have I. But you know, I mean, what the hell does that mean? I've met some nice inmates the too. The cockfighting is when they have put you? the the mess. Yes. Where? On I've... tour. <laughs> when uh... um. I, I did a drum <laughs> seminar on Rikers Island, <laughs> and I uh, had to go into some of the cells to meet the people. I know that's a lie because they wouldn't let you bring the drumsticks in because they would have sharpened them yeah, as weapons and stabbed you yeah. during the first ninety uh, seconds of your awful drum set. Um, what uh, expedition? Tell, I want to hear, but wait a second. I want to hear about because fuck the gambling. I mean, that's interesting. We'll get into that. It's What's all more interesting is the the you you tell me stories about when you were doing like the day trading and all that shit the amount of money you were losing and making it was absurd. I mean that's insane that's got to be where party the the gambling addiction must have helped you with that stuff because you you have the you have the fire to go fuck it I'm putting 50 grand in this down yeah I mean it's you know, it's whatever. all the what did you lose 15 chase. grand on oh god it was a whole 3 days of craps blackjack three team teams dude yeah, three, 
14 team Shark Tank. <laughs> Dude, I, th I swear to God, I think fucking sports, I don't know if it's fixed, but the shit is manipulated. And that NBA ref getting caught, man, right there, there was like vindication for every sports gambler out there. Absolutely. That this guy, I mean, the dude was in the playoffs. Yeah. Just teeing guys up. Yeah, they showed You're it. You're telling me there's no umpires out there doing that? Yeah, that's the thing. They showed Ringing people up. When they started watching this NBA ref and they went back and they have records of every game he refed. Uh huh. 60% of the times the game would go over. For people listening, he was betting on the over under, the total amount of points scored in the game, not if the Wizards beat the Pistons. It was how many points. So he would just tee someone up or call a foul, and then they'd shoot free throws, and like, up, oh, the game went over 210 points, and he would tell his mafia connected guys that's what he was doing, not to manipulate who would win. Just the total points. Oh, the overrunner. And then they'd say, wow, since he's been under investigation, these games are flying over. Wow, that's not a coincidence. And he admitted to it. Yeah, I owed them a couple hundred grand. And I would say, this game tonight, I'll make sure it goes over. And they would all bet on it. So yeah, and, and, and you're right. He's the only guy doing Dude, it. I, I think That's the I think bullshit. the whole thing's I mean, the whole Yankees Red Sox thing. Every year somebody jumps out in front, but no matter how they gotta far reel out, them in. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, reel you can't. Because, dude, Yank, uh, baseball they've set up like a welfare system. Dude, we got a guy right here. He's front. He's saying as we're literally doing two topics at the same time because we're inexperienced here. We got this. Here's a pit bull breeder. Here we go. Hey, uh, Shane, South Dakota. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, we just started hey. talking about gambling, so we figured we'd jump back right in the middle of uh, pit bull fighting. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks, Bill. I really, really appreciate it. I uh, really dig your comedy, man. Anyways, um, I kind of like the the topic going along with the whole uh, name of the show being uninformed because I listen to Owen and Ron Fez constantly, mm -hmm. and uh, every one of them I've heard ever since the Vic thing came up talking about uh, pit bull fighting, and every one of them has got the most uninformed opinion in the world. And I'd like to ask Joe that uh, since I'm a pit bull breeder right. and have been for quite a while, I'd like to know uh -oh. how uh, maybe he can explain to me how to breed pit bulls to be uh, mean and fighting. Pardon me? He's saying he's a pit bull breeder, right. but not for fighting. For yeah. uh, how, 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 would, how would you breed a pit bull to be mean for fighting? How the hell would I know? I know if you t if you clip their tails, that's one thing you do. Uh, well, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, if you so, clip their so tails. Does make, so does that make a Rottweiler mean? Because their their tails are always clipped. Dude, are you yeah, actually going to argue he's with? Dead. Dude, are you actually going to? Are you? Hey, no, oh, he's oh. calling you on your shit. He's saying no, you're uninformed. But, but, yeah, on my shit, are you actually gonna call me on on the fact that there have been more fucking pit bull attacks than any other dog in history? Are you actually gonna act like I made that up? Yeah, actually, there are more German Shepherd bitings. Oh bastard. shit! Damn. Oh shit! Where's this? Well, this guy doesn't have a you conflict just got of owned, interest, man. This guy doesn't have a conflict of interest to stick up for pit bulls, does he? He's a fucking pit bull breeder. You're gonna act like there's not stories in the paper every fucking year about a pit for bull attacking somebody? For those of the people somebody? listening, Joe has M and M's in his mouth. That's why he sounds all of a sudden like he's sixty. So Shane, Shane, what is your point? You, you're Keep kind this guy in the line. No, no, I'm talking to him. What? You're what? kind of yelling at him, Joe. What is? But but I'm serious. Like what? What is your point? You act. You're acting like I have no basis to say that pit bulls can be violent fucking animals. Well, you're right. They they can be just like any other type of animal out there. But I love it when people like you get on, get, have have a microphone to talk into, and you you read something in a newspaper and you perpetuate the idea that these are such horrible dogs and they they have this. And you're they, right, dude. Because I had a poodle, and, and that thing was a son DNA of a bitch, man. I'll tell you. Attribute to fucking attack and and, and and you just said it a minute ago that that uh, they could. To fight. That what? Okay, now you're starting to cut out. All right, Shane. Thanks, 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 thanks for calling. Said it. Dude, a he, ago he, 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 no, this dude, he's made his point, man. We're just gonna go fucking around and around in a circle here. I'm gonna tell you something though, Joe. We had a West Highland Terrier when I was a kid. Who's ever heard of those things fucking attacking him? Anybody? But we teased the shit out of this dog. But we, it, we used to play the glove game. Up. Hang on a sec. Exactly, Joe. And that's what they do with these pit bulls. If you have a pit bull and you treat it nice. What he's saying is the fucking thing is cool, but the last dog. But I will say the last dog you want to turn into a fucking mean son of a bitch is a pit bull. Right. Let me tell you something. My cousin, my cousin's ex. -husband, Why don't you finish your fucking M and M? My cousin's ex husband also raised pit bulls. He had several. Okay, and he told okay. me a bunch of shit about pit bulls. One thing being, you don't clip their fucking tails. When you clip their tails. That, when you see a pit bull with its tail clipped, that's uh -huh. a sign of a pit bull being bred for fighting. 
So I mean, you know, so this guy is a breeder. I know a breeder. I, I mean, it's my word against his. It's like you know. No, he is a breeder, and you know a breeder. So I mean, if this was the military, he's a lieutenant. You're a sergeant. Well, he says he's a breeder. You say you know a breeder. And you're yeah. eating M and M's. You got a big bag of and yellow M M&M's. and M's. I'm your friend, and I'm your joke. Partner. Joke. They came with the industrial size. Like, what is it? Fucking Halloween. You be handing that <laughs> it shit. It is close. Up. It's coming up. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, to get back with Michael Vick and the dog fighting, out, this was announced yesterday or today. They're gonna have to destroy the rest of the dogs. They have like a hundred dogs or fifty, whatever the dogs are, because they're so good. Because they're evil fucking creatures. Right. Because they birth. saw the equipment and all the. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're evil, no good dogs. They should all be destroyed. Jesus, hope no one knows the address of this place. You're going to piss some people off in the Bronx. And they gonna come down I thought there. you said you didn't give a shit about dog fighting. I don't. I don't. You I don't. got angry at that guy for acting like I was some kind of asshole for thinking that uh, pit bulls can be He didn't say you were an asshole, can be He violent. just merely said no. that you were uninformed. He had his condescending, I'd like to ask Joe. Well, if that did <laughs> I know what he was doing. And it's yeah, like, he dude, was calling you on your shit. Do you read those stories in the paper constantly? First of all, that tail thing constantly. you said just sounds like complete horseshit. It's not. Most of the times they cut the tail off. It's 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 how the dog, it looks better. You know what I mean? Not, nah, dude. <laughs> no, they it do. It's kind of like you know. No, it's, it's not. Like giving it like a crew cut. God's created it's, this tail. We're gonna part take of, it away. <laughs> but I mean, it's like you, you don't. don't no, this. he's making it seem like it's the UFC. Like you cut the tail off because that's you know, he's shaving your head. You know what I mean? I just love the fact you go tail. I'm waiting for you to go. Yeah, they shock him in the balls with electricity. Dude, you, should, you should have seen this shit they on on HBO. Them. On HBO, they would still steal people's uh, like little fucking you know nice lap dogs, and they would duct tape their mouth shut, and they would they would teach these things how to kill. Dude, it was insane. It was insane. I like the hey, fact that they don't. steal them. Can I bet on that? <laughs> Doug, <laughs> I want to bet on the big fighting. The big, the big animal lover. Dude, it was brutal. They're, they're like chaining them up to fucking radiators. Because God knows, if you get chained up to something, nine times out of ten, it's a fucking radiator. <laughs> In a basement. <laughs> a Brooklyn basement. That's no, I'm great. saying they, they used to fuck. They, they tie these fucking things up. Oh and they couldn't God. even fight back, and they just teach them how to kill each other. How, how, the one dog, how to kill the other fucking dog. What kind I gotta of dog admit, when this? I watch the clips, what? What kind of dog was this again? That what kind of dog was what? That you're talking about right now? That they that they would catch yeah. just mutts. <laughs> one was a bulldog. That sounds like dude. It was awful. They would, then some of them were like would actually live, and they they would limp home, and then. <laughs> Their, their owners, dude, I'm really not trying to be funny here, but they their owners... They home. They're, yeah, trying like to get salmon back. salmon finding their way back. <laughs> trying awful. to get... Jesus Christ. <laughs> that dude, sounds like bum fighting. This was one of the saddest things I ever saw, man. I'm it's trying to... It sounds hilarious right now. Dude, I love it. it wasn't. It was sad, man. They, these things would... They were limping home. Anybody were, arranging one, a one fight just tonight, like, call they, us. was completely missing a leg. Like, they had to get rid of his leg. Now he's got, like, a three-legged dog. So every time he sees him hopping across the living room, he just remembers. He's reminded. My friend's dog. He, he, he we can never move on. When we were kids, uh, used to eat golf balls. That's why I don't feel bad about dog fighting. Used to eat golf balls. The fucking thing. Joe, you're eating a bag of fucking M and M's. So them. if somebody chained you to a radiator. And, and had a fucking pit bull come in here and rip your jugular around. That should be funny. I want to sit there and be like, well, you know what? I saw Joe eating a big yellow bag. What Halloween does that got to do size. with the golf balls thing? Because he you're, skipped it. Because <laughs> you're judging the fucking dog. Dogs are stupid because one of them ate a, ate a golf ball. You're like racist. No, I was saying that's how much of an animal a fucking dog is that it can digest a golf ball. <laughs> Try eating oh, a golf that's, ball. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying they're fucking, they're fucking uh, uh, visceral fucking beings, man. That's all I'm trying to so say. Because it, be is that the wrong yeah, word? Yeah, is that? That's SAT prep, brother. Come I don't on, know man. if I misused that. I think I used it correctly, though. I don't think you used it if right. If anybody knows what visceral means, call in, please, oh, and tell God. us. <laughs> oh, this guy goes to a Mexican restaurant that has cockfighting. Fighting. I want to go. I want to go. Hey, Mar to go. Marshall, are you calling from Marshall, Texas, or your name is Marshall and you're, you're in Texas? My name's Marshall. It's a Texas name. Oh, okay, man. And uh, you said there's a Mexican restaurant down there that has cockfighting? Yeah, it's uh, it's actually in Juarez, right across from El Paso, and uh, yeah, first time I went there, the whole thing is, is circular, and uh, there's this like pit in the middle, and I didn't put two and two together, so I'm sitting there with my Mexican girlfriend or whatever, and I'm not. And you, did you just like order a quesadilla, and all of a sudden you notice this fight ring over to, yeah, <laughs> over to the left? Well, they had a 
And 50 <laughs> Mexicans with bills you don't recognize <laughs> screaming. <laughs> somebody, hands him a, somebody hands him a betting slip. Uh, can I have the uh, menu? This is a betting slip, sir. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I ordered the chicken. No, um, they had this I don't like a buffet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you guys are the pros. No, know. I liked it. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, they had this buffet table. Yeah, we're sitting there, and I'm eating this meat and shit, and then... Uh, all of a sudden, the, you know, these trumpets start playing and shit, and these guys are, like, carrying their uh, roosters down to this pit right in the middle. We're like, And you had no idea up to this point. You just thought you were going to, you know, have a nice quiet dinner but with wait, your girlfriend? How, how did they do it out in the open like that? I thought it was illegal. I thought it was always, like, well, in a basement not with, like, guys in those wife-beater T-shirts holding the fucking... Christopher Walken's playing <laughs> Russian roulette in the corner. <laughs> We're so, talking about a country where you can watch donkeys fuck 14-year-olds. You know, this is not exactly... Well, so wait oh, a minute. oh you were in Mexico. I'm sorry. I thought you were in Texas. That's you said saying. across from El Paso, oh, Texas. Oh, okay. He okay. crossed over and, yeah, left I his life behind him. Chipotle yeah. or Chipotle. Yeah, oh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Chick Chick <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Texas, they got that fucking attitude the second you come in, that not in Texas. Yeah, we're not Southerners. We're Texans. Like, then beat it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, for no, so wait a minute. Did, did, did you bet on that shit? Um, no, there wasn't any betting, but, like, oh. that shit's bloody as hell, man. They have razors on their feet, and there's blood yeah. going everywhere, and, like, in between rounds... First of all, the whole fight lasts maybe ten minutes, but, uh, uh -huh. in between rounds, they're whispering in their ears, and they're blowing air through the cuts, like, that the other rooster made to keep their lungs inflated long enough to keep fighting. And you're sitting there watching this, like, gory shit. Wait like, a minute, he's giving like, CPR? He's yeah, giving C yeah, CPR to the, and, and this shit is a restaurant. It is a restaurant. It's Mexico. Called you know what? I just so. became in favor of the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> Between you, I mean, what the fuck kind of people are this? <laughs> Take it easy, yeah, will you? Yeah. You guys need to do this Come full on. time. I uh, maybe that's this why the they're leaving. No, those are the leave. smart people. I can't take it anymore. I just no. want to go out. I want to get a Dude. taco. But no, I heard that. They make I heard that yeah, before. Marshall, that. I heard that before man. about the call. razor blades on the feet. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It's just as brutal. By the way, visceral means <laughs> dealing with crude or <laughs> elemental emotions. I was kind of way off. Way yeah, off. Yeah. Man. Well, dogs would be dealing with crude elemental emotions. I just wasn't using visceral in the right sentence about a dog. <laughs> okay. They are visceral creatures, but they not because they eat golf balls. Right. Okay. You see. Caddyshack. Nice. Sorry, man. I don't know how to hang up on people. That guy was just still fucking hanging in there. <laughs> how do you hang up the phone, Sean? How do My I make it? My voice coming in right now to tell you. Here we go. Yeah, because that guy is continuing to laugh. I was like, all right, Marshall. There he is. Oh, down there? Yeah. To the rescue. You should, have, you should have like a little... What are you still doing? That's doing not it. it. Still doing it. That's it's working. It. You're calling somebody. It's ringing. See who you're there calling. There you go. Who are you calling? There you go. He's calling the uh, No, no, no. There you go. There you go. No, the fucking guy was still in line. He's calling I didn't, the I, ASPCA. They, like, Look, stop talking about that. Having collars things. is something new to us. Pigeons kill each other. Bullfighting, the same as cockfighting. Went to high school with Vic. You want to talk to any of these people? Well, I have a pit bull. Well, Vic somebody deserves. went to high school with Vic? Yeah, I thought some, I want to hear somebody went to high school with Chad Rosa. No. <laughs> <laughs> it can back up whether or not he's a cool person. Dude. You know, Those you want to talk about cool. inhumane, inhumanity to animals, dude. There's nothing more cruel than bullfighting. What? There's nothing more cruel than bullfighting. I don't know. They so kill the fucking bull. No, the best thing is how they slow him down before he gets in there. Yeah, like that's the bullshit. Movie Gladiator, that's he stabs bullshit. him underneath the, in the armpit so he can't fight. They the people don't realize they stab the thing fifty times and they like they give it like a laxative. It's sad, dude. Fight. It's that's fucking sad. It's a man. bull. Yeah. Bull, and what whatever. do you do with a bull? It's useless when it's dead. Leather. Bull what do you balls. Mean? Don't you, you you don't make burgers out of those things? I'm no. sure they do. Or they no, ship it to China. No, you don't. You eat cow. You don't eat bull. They do in China. It's saying that you don't eat rooster either. You eat chicken. Well, that's because you just want to have more chickens and more cows. But if you're gonna fucking kill a bull anyways, you are telling me there's not a good flank steak on a bull? <laughs> no, they're too fucking muscular, dude. Then it's a gamey steak. It's okay. how do you know? I know, Bill. I'm fucking making just, it up as I go. I'm guessing why we don't eat bull. Usually you don't eat an animal that's too muscular. Yeah, but you're delivering it like you're the uh, the head of the uh, FDA. <laughs> well, for the same reason they don't have the running of the cows, because cows are fat, lazy things that taste good. See what I'm saying? I don't know what a cow is. That's it's a fucking female stupid bull. I am. Well, let me ask you a question. Before people came around, were there just herds of cows just walking around? 
I don't know. You know what I didn't realize the other day? Chickens just reproduce on their own. I never realized that. I thought the rooster fucks them. No, they just make eggs. Dude, there's like one rooster on a whole farm. It's all chickens. Wait a dude, minute. Dude, the Wait hen house, dude. Why, why is the rooster so pissed off if another rooster comes in near his hens if, if he's not fucking them anyways? I don't well, think he fox, fucks yeah. them, dude. The he just he... comes in and he gets Dude, pissed you off. know what? Is there a farmer out there for the love of God? <laughs> Dude, you know something? We I'm an idiot. I'm out right now. I am a fucking idiot, but the shit Joe says, it's just like, what? <laughs> know what it is? I figured it out. Joe hung out with a lot of dumb kids in high school, and he would just say shit, and they were like, yeah, Joe, that's fucking he right. He, Joe, the, Joe the is trying to you say guys are. that chickens are fucking asexual. They are! What's this, well, just because you Park? yell it. They just sit in that fucking thing and drop the eggs down, dude. That's, dude they they, they, don't, nothing, bugs they don't get banged at all. The rooster. No. Then what just, is the purpose of the rooster? It's just a male chicken. It's almost like a... For what? It's almost like a defect. Do you know what I mean? Like, male chickens are very rare. It sounds like the Oprah Winfrey You're show. You're digging a hole, brother. What do you mean they just... No, they, just have the them keep talking. It's, it's purpose is to go cock-a-doodle fucking do. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, if anybody knows whether or not uh, roosters Any, fuck chickens... Yeah, anybody from Peoria out there, call us. <laughs> How did the show get to this point? If anybody out there knows if roosters fuck chickens. Hey, before we go to break, we got to talk to this guy. This guy ate a pit bull in the Philippines. Oh, wow. According yes. to him. Aaron. Hey. Hey, man, you're trying to... You're like the baddest dude ever. You ate a pit bull in the Philippines? Yeah. Uh, we were over there in the, in the military, or uh -huh. I should say that. And, you uh, did say that. Yeah. Those uh, bastards, they cook them up because they're kind of a cuisine. Did you and, find it uh, to be gamey because it was really muscular? No, it tasted like ass. <laughs> Not like... <laughs> but it was... <laughs> Seriously, what did it taste like? Equated to something like... I thought honestly. I was going to be able to beat you on the bull thing. <laughs> no, it... Uh, um, Liking it to some kind of meat that we would know. Do you guys... Uh, you ever ate, like, a quail? I have. Yeah. Have it's you ever, like, is. talked a little faster? Or, like, rabbit? Does it taste like rabbit? Rabbit tastes like shit to me. No, it was kind of a gamey bird kind of taste. Well, if you, you... I don't like how you said the bastards cook them up, and then you, you ordered a little pit bull falafel. Yeah. You kind of supported it. You can't believe in Thailand. They they, they fuck kids. So I'm <laughs> sitting there. I got this eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the military. Simone! Get Bill a new Dale Fi. What? Yeah, that's some ONA shit. I don't even know what the All fuck right, I mean. All right, bye. See ya. I know the Ramon part, but I don't know, I don't know what a Delphi is. Um, anyways, all right, we're going to be going to break. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody who's been listening, and uh, we're real psyched that we finally have uh, phone calls. And maybe we can actually get into whether or not you think uh, sports are fixed. Let's try Absolutely. to stick with that rather than jumping back and forth between, you know, pit bulls. But I want to know the chicken thing. If it All right, by the end of the show, can somebody please tell Joe if a rooster actually fucks a chicken or if they're asexual? All right, man, uh, the final hour, we got uh, women who ruin porn coming up. Uh, you're listening to Uninformed. Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa. Uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. Right, man. Hey, what's going on? You're listening to uh, Uninformed with Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa, and special guest Doug Signe. And uh, the big question, if you're just tuning in, that we had going to break are, do roosters fuck chickens? Because according to Joe, the eggs just magically appear in their <laughs> little chicken womb. And you know what's funny? People are just calling in right now. And the states they're calling in from, you got to believe that they know what they're talking about. Kentucky, Nebraska. There's even a guy from West Palm Beach who says Joe is a retard with chickens. <laughs> so let's go to the first guy. <laughs> the first guy. In the, all right, in Nebraska. Eric, what's up, man? You going to set us straight here or set Joe straight? What's, of course. Okay, what's the deal? All right, the deal is roosters do fuck chickens. That's how the eggs become fertile. Uh, uh, a chicken or a hen, a female chicken, will lay eggs every day if properly taken care of. That does not necessarily mean they will hatch into anything unless the rooster is All right, you're talking shop. What do you mean properly taken care of? If, if little action this happens... This guy sounds like he's well, on a tractor right now. Uh, he's got a truck with a bunch of chickens food. behind him. <laughs> if they're fed right and if, you know, if they're taken care of. If they live in a harsh environment where they're constantly running for their life and that kind of thing, they won't lay eggs every day. Oh, okay, so if I knock up my girlfriend, I just have to chase her around the apartment a little bit, and I'll be out of it. That was that was informative on a couple of different levels. All right, Eric, thanks a lot. All right, what do we got? Craig in Kentucky. Hey, 
Yeah, all this Chris actually don't matter. Uh, hey, Chris. He pretty much took the chicken thing. Uh, but yeah, like if a rooster fucks the hen, she'll lay an egg that'll hatch. If the rooster doesn't fuck the hen, she lays eggs that you make omelets with. So she and, can uh, so she can lay eggs without getting fucked. Oh my God! Right, oh, they're yeah. not fertile. And with, and just... with the uh, <laughs> oh, so that's mean, that's them like having like like a period. So they keep much, it away. Yeah. Joe was fucking right. Uh, that motherfucker in Nebraska was wrong, according to to Chris. Now, Chris, do you own chickens? Now I don't know much about chickens. I was mainly calling in about the cattle, but I mean, I you know, I grew up around farms and stuff. I'm gonna believe and, you with that accent, man. Why don't we eat bulls, <laughs> Chris? Why don't we eat uh, bulls? We don't eat bulls. Well, uh, as much as I fucking hate to say this, Joe was right about that. We don't eat bulls because <laughs> they're muscular, but we don't eat cows either. Okay, a cow is generic form for the big thing. Uh, a cow or, or a bunch of them's cattle. The male with balls is a bull. He fucks the cows to make little cows. The cow is the mama that gives milk and all that shit. What we eat is what's called a steer. What is you wind up. A steer is uh, a castrated bull. When the, when the bull calf is born, if you want him to become burgers and steaks, as soon as he's born, you put a big rubber band around his balls, or you cut them off. The rubber band, of course, cuts off circulation. They fall off. And that key, yeah, key Jesus in mass. <laughs> Christ, that, that's, that's the fucking bull's option? All right, we either cut yeah. it off quick or we'll just uh, put an elastic around it and, uh, you know. So that's where that term comes from about putting a rubber band around your nuts. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I do that for and, stamina. <laughs> and uh, unless you got any more questions, that's I got one more. This guy's about as useless as tits on a boar. What does that mean? Bull. 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 Uh, bull. Oh, Jesus, oh, Billy. Because it's a male thing. animal, Bill. If it had tits, they'd be useless. It's a male. Yeah. Well, what like about people who went, what about pigs that were into fucking transvestites? It's not pigs, Bill. It's a tits on a bull. On a bull. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well I'm trying, we say we say tits on a boar, which a uh, pig, a uh, male pig is a. He boar, does say it, all right, there, fuckhead. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the you want to talk about cattle, or do you? Dude, want to talk you are about the dogs? most informed son of a bitch we've ever had on this show. I swear to God, bring up another animal. Let's see what else this guy yeah. knows. <laughs> pit bulls. What do you think of pit bulls? Do Dude, snakes uh, have sex? I always wanted to know that. Yeah, they do have sex. You know, the Discovery Channel. Ask them something harder. Uh, what's the difference between... I didn't know, uh, what's you didn't know between chickens a... had sex. Fuck off. What do you mean I did? They do fucking have sex. We were both right. Well, I was more right yeah. than bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, I you know, were more right. amazingly right. Thank you. If that means anything. All right, Chris, you got you to gotta fucking call in next time we do this show, man. You are just full I'll, of information. I'll, 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 and we've done I'll, I'll, no <laughs> background research on you, but we're still going to take you at face value that you know what the fuck you're talking about. Thank you, Chris. Jesus Christ, Joe. You know what? You had a brutal second hour, and you're starting off the top of the hour. I mean, what was that? Was that three? He went three for three. Yeah, Maybe great. I was right about a few things in the second hour that you guys trashed me about, and nobody can Oh, shit. He's talking shit back. about drumming again. It is. It's going back to high school. John days. Henry DeRosa. <laughs> Basic <laughs> Mother Nick, 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 Nick. You All know right. what's funny? During the break, uh, I apologize to the last people who had to listen to Joe munch on his fucking M&Ms. And I, this was, this was kind of what kind of out of shape shithead Joe DeRosa is. <laughs> He is eating, you know, eat a bag of M&M's. People do that shit. He has, let me, I got to tell you the weight of this fucking <laughs> bag of M&M's. Net weight, 14 ounces. Do you that, know how that, much that, that is, doesn't mean anything it's to me. It's almost a pound. Well, right. You know what it is? It's 396.9 grams. I do know yeah, that. Okay. This Look is like the, a fucking kilo. Look at this. <laughs> This is, this, fat is, this, this is the Tony Montana. I didn't eat the whole bag. This I is ate the, fucking You were ten. on your fucking way. I ate ten of them, Bill. <laughs> you were on your way fucking during the break. Broadcasting I 101. apologize, too, that I was eating M&M's and chewing. Uh, that was unprofessional me. But I will not apologize for the fact that Billy is a fucking Sally when it comes to fast food and junk God. food. And right, that's you why you're moving to L.A., because, you know, you, you want to go out there and get some yeah, nice... Yeah, because there's no healthy places to nice eat here. sprouts and all Billy, those the things. good thing would be to follow up again. He goes, I'm sorry for chewing them. If he could swallow them whole like the golf ball, like a pit bull. <laughs> we and could fight Joe. Could, <laughs> like, and if he could shit out the whole M&M, he would be a cock bullfighting motherfucker. I'll fight a pit bull. <laughs> I would love First to of all, Joe, if you want to know why your fucking your your body is in the shape it is, total fat <laughs> content seventeen percent, saturated fat twenty three percent. The total fat is seventeen. Somehow the saturated fat is even higher. I'm That's not how out fucking. Of I'm not that out of and shape. How many Joe, is that? It says per serving. How yeah, many? Yeah, you're M &Ms? talking like I'm a fat guy. I'm not fat, Joe. You know what it is? 
You're that non-committal, awful, middle fucking of the road body. I'm skinny fat. Yeah, you you can't tell if you're on your way to obesity or you're making a big comeback. Like if you got a high school reunion coming up Ooh. or somebody just dumped you. You know what, Bill? One of the I'll tell you what <laughs> I am. A couple lines, you'll get a six pack. I'll tell you what I am. I'm fucking happy is what I am. I eat things that I enjoy. I put things into my body that I enjoy, and I enjoy myself. You know, Joe came over to my house in this beautiful kitchen that he's going to be cooking in. And we... Uh, and I made you Nia, a hell of a Nia, meal. Okay. I, absolutely. Shithead, I made you a bunch of meals. You make me one meal, Nia, all of a sudden... Nia made me a bunch of meals. Hey, who, who do you think bought those steaks? Huh? <laughs> who do you think bought those steaks? Listen to this shit. This is what a fucking animal Joe DeRosa is. We fucking... I don't know what the fuck we made, but you know the, the gristle... Yeah, of course. He eats that shit. No. Yeah. That's like, oh he, my God. Like John Candy in that fucking uh, boat... Boat trip. When I was a little kid, do you, get, do you remember B&M baked Summer beans? Rental? What was it? Do you it? remember B&M baked beans? Did you have those as a kid growing up? Yeah. yeah. B&M, the red can, yeah. half red, half blue, and you open it up right. and you pour it in. They had that big fucking thing of lard. Yeah. To taste. My dad, if we touched that, would stab us with his fork. Exactly. That was his thing. And sometimes he would get drunk and open up a can of beans and just sift through it and eat that thing of lard, then throw the beans away. That's disgusting. I can't. Yeah, I, I that's off Joe. the bones, dude. That you eat, if you gave Joe, I am if the you king gave of the Joe, and I will consume. I would eat the fucking bones if I knew they wouldn't splinter out my stomach. I swear to God. Dude, I, everything, everything. He's eating chicken. Every I, fucking <laughs> animal you can think of, and it's I like would, he I sucked stop. marrow out of bones he before. D- yeah, dude. What's you're with like, eating the fat out of veal bones? I sucked dude, marrow. Dude, it's out like of eating with the fucking Lost Boys. <laughs> 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 dude, I mean, Joe's hanging upside down at Billy's. House. Nothing better than a piece dude, of I mean, fat on the him steak. eating him eating buffalo wings is one of the most disgust. It's it's it's, it's animal. It's animalistic, but it's fucking it? brutal. And, and meanwhile, you eat them. Will like, you have a chain to a radiator, em, Joe? You eat them <laughs> like in a fucking civilized no, person. No, you eat them like this. You take these little bites, like you're biting those fucking candy buttons off of that toilet paper strip <laughs> with your kids. <laughs> and he's really got, you got enough meat Which left in your worst, fucking yeah. plate to, to make a fucking chicken salad, dude. Joe, I you're, eat eating, you're eating the fucking patella. Yep. Rolling it around in your I, mouth. I want every bit of that thing soul inside of me. I want to digest so you're, as much of that animal as I can. So you're dude, happy I, though, Jill. That's what you said. You don't give a shit. You put makes, happy things into your body. Dude, I eat healthy too. I have plenty of salads for meals. Wait for a minute. Week. I've known you three years. I'm going to try to fucking think. Anytime. You I'm going to try to think. Twice Joe, this week. Joe, twice uh, this week for dinner. Twice this week for dinner. Joe, your Chicken. headshot should you be should be you walking out of a McDonald's <laughs> with a big twice satisfied look on your face. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you, Foley. Holy shit. I'm not disagreeing with you, Foley. But twice this week, I ate McDonald's. But also twice this week, I ate baked chicken, baked potato, and asparagus. So I, I balance it out. Cream and- no, I balance it out, man. But I love... I'm not going to deprive myself. I'm not going to be one of these scared fucking people that won't eat KFC because I heard it had trans fat in it. It's like, it tastes good. I'll eat it sometimes. I'm not scared of it. I hear you. I'm seeing you know, older, the, 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 though. The, the, I got to be careful. I know, Joe. You're, yeah. you're, you're a rebel. I'm not a rebel, but you I mean... You it's got a motorcycle it's, jacket it's on. It's the fear, dude. Dude, I'm not saying I don't eat candy, but when I eat candy, I don't get the fucking. You could open a movie theater. With I this gave shit. the guy, I gave the producer a dollar. I go get me some M and M's. He brought me that bag. I ate. He some did not of them. spend a dollar. That is not a dollar's worth. Of I candy. gave him a dollar. Let's that get is, him in here. That's a fucking. Get, come fuck. on in and get on the mic. Did I ask for the big bag? I like the fact that. <laughs> He's on Travis, the radio, and he goes, get me something crunchy. Did I, Travis, did I say get me the giant bag? Did he say no, get me something he crunchy? Dollar, get me M&M's. Thank you. Okay. Well, you know what? You've seen the way you've eaten. And you ate some of them, you fucking Southie cocksucker. I, I jogged four miles today. You f- I yeah, work out all, all you know what, the you know time. What, Doug, I always if, work if, out. If, he does. He works out. I work I go out. To, you ever been to a gym, Joe? Wait, he, Have you he ever worked out his fucking gym? wrist on the Wait craft table? That's what he fucking works out. Wait a second. God, he's starting to bash me on gambling. Let's get into it. Wait a second. <laughs> do, do, have you have you ever gone to a gym? Yes. And what did, what did you do? It was the worst experience of my life. I try not to remember it. <laughs> okay, wait a second. We got to talk. What happened? Did you did you go no, wait? I hate it. It's awful. It's the worst thing ever. It's the most it's the most brainless fucking repetitive. No, eating M and M's is just a fucking spiritual I'm experience. I'm hungry, isn't Bill. It? It's a snack. I don't. M and M's are not a snack. That's well, something. What are they? Fat a people. meal, Bill? That's something that fat people. It's a snack. That's, that's what, what I mean, dude. What do you Bill, want? Your fucking period, Bill. That's what I mean. That's what I fucking mean about about that. It's like you're I, so the afraid. The fact that you're standing up. The fact you're that you're so, standing up does not fucking bug you're me. You're so you're so afraid. Of, Look at this. Look at his They're yeah. starting to so, fucking protrude. You're so. <laughs> 
You're so afraid of putting anything like that in your body ever. I'm not. The day you it's, start going I'm, to the hungry. gym. I wanted a I'm, snack, so I had a snack. What, what, the, what, what else are you supposed to eat in M&M's? What are you supposed I'm, to I'm hungry. When I have you a start fucking sandwich. Right. When you start taking a shit and you can't see well, a uh, cock, you're going to stop so eating M&M's. So if I ate a fucking sub with mayo on it, you wouldn't have made fun of me. <laughs> Joe, Joe, when Joe takes a shit, it's every color of the rainbow. It's all these <laughs> M&M shells coming out of his fucking ass, and there's a big piece of you gristle. You fucking bullshit artist. You did that fucking hair brain. You're the opposite of the spectrum. Billy did that fucking horse shit thing where you drink lemon. And juice and paprika and it's nothing else fast. for ten. It's called moronic. Oh really? <laughs> Eat food. You're a fucking human being. Okay. I, I, and what is that based on? I think the fucking caveman <laughs> did that. Oh, I gotta have a lemon juice, paprika. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if they did, but I know they didn't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they have fucking quest for fire. I'm and doing why it. Don't you, why don't you sit back down, Joe? Yeah. First of all, I'm a Joe's decade up. older than you, and I'm in much better shape. So you really don't have oh, a fucking okay. argument. Well, huh? maybe, you want to do fucking push-ups after the fucking <laughs> after the drum off, dude? <laughs> I will beat you in seven different categories next show. Maybe when I'm 48, I'll oh be in good God. shape, too. You know, but I mean, right now I'm having fun. I'm a young guy. I got a high metabolism. I can get away with this shit. Hey, I'm enjoying it. Do, do, you think, do you think he's getting away with it? I don't think he is. Look at Doug. Doug, you look younger than Joe. No, yeah. I'm absolutely Joe, you look like you just got out of a failed marriage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he's on his way to a car fight. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of money on I'm them. I'm getting Joe, away with it. I'm not saying... Joe, you get away with shit because of your fucking oh, personality. Jesus Christ. Joe, I'm going to tell you right now. personality gets Joe, you away with Do you know how much everything. I should weigh? Do you have any idea what I should weigh I, I don't, versus I, what I do weigh? I, I should probably weigh 175. I'm 170 no, I'm, to I'm not saying, you look, though. I'm not saying should. I'm saying... What are you, six feet tall? Joe, no, your I'm whole body. hypothetically Joe. what I should weigh with the way I eat. Oh, I don't know. How tall are you? How the, tall are you? The inside of your body probably looks like a sweater that's been in the dryer for two years, though. It's not <laughs> healthy. No, you know what it is? Joe good. is all gristle. <laughs> if Joe could eat himself, he could die. He What's wrong with the way I look? Huh? Chicks like me. <laughs> always got a chick. Okay, man. There you go. They're attractive. I'm always getting compliments. That I look too. nice. I mean, someday you're going to wake up and that Joe, shit's going to stop. First of all, stop. Joe, guys sucks. don't walk around in bikinis. They're not into looks. You're making a little bit of money. You've been on the that the boob tube over there, and, and you're you're in the game. You go on stage. You're dancing around How do I look there, bad right now? Doing your musical shit. How do I look shit. bad right now? Jesus, Joe, are you going to be a fucking uh, taking everything serious cunt Come the on. whole fucking show? I'm asking you to back up your Joe, argument. you're sitting here with two other guys, and you're eating a big bag of fucking m And so is this fuck. He was eating them, too. Why don't you uh, give him shit? Because he wasn't eating them on, 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 the, on the mic. Yes, it's, he was. It's not my fucking show. But I'm you know guess. what? He's never going to raise his voice like that, Joe, and that's what makes this show. Because I'm you a fucking man, Putting your me. eyebrows up going, Because I'm right. me. I'm me. I embrace I like my feminine side as well as my masculine side. Where is your feminine side? His You're hands. hearing it. You're hearing his it. His hands. His, his hands. big piano playing hands. Le wow, those are beautiful. Joe, Joe is actually it. a hand model. A lot of people don't know that. I mean, he was <laughs> hand and foot model. Yeah, when he was five years old, he used to do oil of Olay. At the church bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> this is the deacon's son. Come on, buy these fucking clothes. <laughs> well, Joe, you, you, oh, you're, get, you're getting, I don't know, you're, you're really fucking, you don't sound like a guy who just hooked up with a great apartment, man. You're seeing, you're seeing I don't know what's going on with him. You're just really sensitive, this whole show. It's me, Joe. Um, I, You've been a bit of a cunt. I'm not being really sensitive. You're fucking with me. I'm fucking with you back. But when I fuck with you back, you take it as me being defensive. Can we play back the audio from the last hour when he's just like, I'm serious. Still, I'm fucking there. serious. I was serious. It's over. No, I'm fucking serious. The thing about my dad I was serious about. You can't well, I didn't realize you weren't because you weren't standing up. Because Oh, you stood up too. Yeah, but I do it in a fucking manly way. I don't do stand up with a bag of fucking treats. Do you? You took my treats away from you. Is that manly, Bill? You <laughs> do that to all your buddies? You take their treats away? No, I had to read how much these fucking thing weigh, and you exposed that I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. It was a nice little fucking moment. It was. We're still having nice moments. Mm. And the producers of the show go, it sounded great when you were chopping on the peanuts. <laughs> hey, dude, you actually, speaking don't of... Don't read that. Speaking of gyms, dude, this is fucking hilarious. I know right. it has to do with the gym, so you don't oh, okay. like it. Okay, It says, uh, on the cover of the post today, they had something called uh, gym, ra gym Rage. And you know, you know those spin classes? Yeah. Joe, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've, you've, I don't know, you've walked by a gym and maybe looked in the glass. And I'm aware with the spin classes. Yeah, dude, are. first of all, they're, they're, they're horrific. So evidently there was some hedge front fun guy on this, these spin bikes and he was grunting the whole class. And some dude was telling him to shut the fuck up and he didn't. And he picked the dude and his bike up and threw him against the no. wall. Yeah, he fucking, uh, what did they say? He grunted a lot, admittedly. He war whooped. 
He hollered, great song and you go, girl. <laughs> his, his lawyer's defense was, my client was in what's called the zone. Oh, God, what, the Venus William Grunt zone? Come I on. don't know what he was doing, right? So, <laughs> this guy said, at first he start, he started, it escalated. At first he said, shut up. Then it escalated to shut the fuck up. Then the broker allegedly issued the final ultimatum. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm getting off my bike. And uh, the hedge fund guy said, stop being a baby. And this dude came over, just picked him up and his whole fucking bike. Right. Well, the what great thing is, him is, against the, the great thing wall. is we got a hedge fund guy and a broker, so I, I don't go to that gym. No, the, the best part is the guy The guy said he has he has have discs of a cadaver, six of them in his neck. But the other guy's saying, that's bullshit. He got back on his bike and finished his 50-minute workout. Quietly. But wait, what is the... <laughs> I know, quietly. <laughs> quietly. Right? What is, I thought I knew what a spin class is. What is it? If you're on a bike, I thought the spin class was... Like, and you can't sit down. You got to stand and bike No, they got, like, they got, like, the stationary bike, like the one, like, Jack Tripper rode in the beginning what? of... Why is it Three's called a company? spin class? I, I, I have no idea, John. No idea. It's, it's something that, like, I don't know. It's they, they always play techno music, and it's really loud, and, and it is Turn fucking annoying. Off. It's awful. Jesus, Joe, do you know anything about any... any yeah, I know. Go to the gym. Know how chickens work, and I know run, why we don't eat lift. bulls. <laughs> no, I meant like, well, when it comes to like, like physical activity. Bill, I hate sports. Okay. Whoa, do you hate sports? Yes. You don't follow them. I hate them. I don't like playing them. I don't like watching them. I well, hate... I hate Frank Zappa, but I know shit about him. Okay. Well, look, I, mean, I know that in class? I know that Jesus. you get a home run in baseball. You, okay. You know, whatever. I hate sports. I don't like watching them. I, I hate playing them. You, you love M&Ms. Uh, I hate going to the gym. Although I'm going to start going to the gym because I do want to get in shape. But I, didn't will... I, I gave you a workout, didn't I? I will hate. No. I will hate every minute of it. Ow. <laughs> See, that's why he needs to go to the gym. That was an M&M. I will hate an M&M. I lobbed it. I will hate every fucking minute of the, of the experience. You know what gets you I through it? it? You know the what? hot we, ass. We, There's a lot of hot ass if you go to a good gym. That we, helps. We, 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 and we, you see the difference. That's not going to help. That's just going to make me frustrated. Joe, you know what's going to no. make your day? One of the callers actually wants to apologize to you. For what? Uh, the pit bull breeder. Russ. <laughs> Are you kidding? Russ. Yes. You there, man? You said you want to apologize to Joe? Yeah, I call to apologize to Joe. I, I only call breaking his balls, but he seemed to take it a little more personally than he should have. Yeah, didn't it seem? That's not apologizing. You're, you're, you're getting deep rooted and saying he's a pussy. <laughs> I appreciate the apology, Russ. I, I didn't take it personally. I just get very uh, passionate and loud when I, I think I got to agree with Russ, man. I thought you were real well, you, sensitive. You seemed to be a little more upset. I was only fucking with you, dude. It's okay. Thank you. I wow. What do no, you, I, I what, appreciate it. No, you know what, Joe? There's definitely there's a different energy with you. I don't know if you're under a lot of stress. But, like, you, you've just moving, really... Moving. Moving. Stressful. Maybe it's moving. moving. What do you mean? Stressful. I mean, Russ, have, have you heard the show before? You, as a comedian, you, you, you snap. I was only fucking around. You know, I know. You're like, okay, he can take a joke. Well, hey, Russ, you know what? like he can take a fucking joke. I got angry because I thought you were I thought you were being like you, I didn't realize you were fucking with me. I thought you were really like challenging me and being like you're completely wrong and and you, and you're being an idiot. And that's why I got angry because I was nah, like, nah, dude, I was just fucking around. Uh, well, I love the fucking show. I love what you hey, guys Russ. do. Hey Russ, uh, can I apologize? I be listening to the show. I love the fucking well, show. I, I appreciate it, Russ. Thank you very much. Uh, sincerely, thank you. That was nice of you to call. All right, <laughs> I'm serious. Thank you. thank you. Hey Russ, I want to apologize for Joe's behavior. Yeah. <laughs> And forgetting that, that forgetting that you know it's yeah. a uh, it's a comedy show. So uh, we well, want to apologize to you as a listener, okay? Yeah. He doesn't know any better. I know he doesn't. But, you know we're, we're going to bring him around. We're going to we're going to make a man out of him. Russ, yeah, what is that? Is that what a man's man does, Bill? He apologizes hey, no, for his no, buddy's he, behavior. He, no, he can take well, shit. Whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to smooth it out. It's like we're in a we're in a we fictitious it out. bar this right now. This is between me and Russ. Butt the fuck out of it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at Joe getting Joe's his about fucking to stand up, up again. Huh? He's gonna stand up. The, uh, Joe, you want your M and M's back? Is that the fucking problem? No. He's yeah. getting Take those M and M's and shove them up your ass. <laughs> All right, Russ, man. Thank, thanks for calling. Russ, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. See, See you, bro. All right, Bye. thanks, man. Now that's a good guy. See, dude, and I'm telling you, I, I've been fucking. Here you go, Joe. Here are your fucking M and M's. Why don't you lighten up for the last fucking forty minutes of the dude, show? Dude, we're having a good time. Why? Are you... I, I, I'm having a good time. Doug's having a, good time. having a good time. I, no other listener felt like they had to call in and apologize that's to the show. That's the first time in radio history that's ever happened, I think. I don't think it is. 
Oh. It's the first time in the history of this show. All right. I got to think there's been some other whiny cunt fight eating me. M&Ms on another radio show, Joe. Well, fight uh, me uh, on every turn, every fucking thing I say, combat it, and then wonder why I'm, I'm going I'm at you. I'm just having a good time, Joe. I'm having a good time, too, Bill. Bill, lay off Joe. He's not a cunt. Here we go, Joe. Everybody's feeling bad for you. Here we go. Because you're being pushy. Annie. Yeah. Hey, what? What? Am, um, I, am I being too hard on Joe? Well, I want to preface this by agreeing with you that Joe's kind of a fucking idiot, but I think maybe you're being kind of a douche tonight, and you should lay off of him a little bit. Okay. Are you from Philly? I'm from Allentown. Uh, no, there you, you can't. I went to Kutztown well, okay. University. I recognize that fucking accent you got there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right up the street. Did you hear about Joe and his reputation being down there in Allentown, his popularity and his, his drumming and all that stuff? Oh, I'm originally from Jersey. I don't know anything out here. Oh. So the... the <laughs> I don't know anything. The buzz on Joe DeRosa. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. See, there you go, Joe. It's a couple of people taking your side. We, we, we want you to leave here happy. I am happy. That I think you have a very controlled sort of calmness. Oh, Jesus Christ, It just doesn't, Christ, seem, it doesn't dude. seem like a nickname. <laughs> gristle. <laughs> He's got the gristle I know what look. you're doing. You're oh, pushing yeah. my buttons fine. It's working, Joe. It's been yeah, working it's for the last working. hour and a half. This has been and the easiest radio I've ever had And we're do. laughing and having a good time. So, I don't know, Joe. You admitted that you got a little, you got a little testy. I got mad about the thing with my bit. dad. A little, little bit. Yeah, little bit. Yeah, you're dis you disrespecting did. him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Anybody's listening. Right. You, you got to know I fucking love Joe. Okay. There you go, Joe. Huh? Bill, I love you, too. All right. Now you we had a nice... on my birthday. Remember we, that? Yeah. We you guys that. just hugged it out without touching. That's so exactly. bullshit, Now we had to have, like, this douchey moment. Yeah. There's no douchey mo I didn't ask all for the douchey moment. All sports fans listening just Look, dropped. first of all, everybody's calling in. They feel bad for you. It's, you think those are the only two calls? Those are the only two. The whole thing is lit up over here. What's it say? I see the board. Read me the Titles of the calls. Uh, lay off Joe. Poor Joe. I feel bad for him. His dad isn't a pervert. I mean, it's just it's just a whole bunch of shit. I don't believe you that that's all over there. <laughs> we definitely need someone here. to call in that went to school with Joe. That would be great. Oh, uh, here's another guy. Another guy. From, this guy wants to apologize to you too, Joe. All right. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Marshall. What's up, man? Oh yeah, I just uh, I wanted to apologize. Uh, mm -hmm. I stayed on the line too long. I called about that Mexican restaurant and. No, that was I don't great. Know, there was the whole dial tone thing, and it just oh no, went it's, on it's, and on. It's, sorry, it's okay, man. See, see what you started here, Joe. Now everybody That's feels like this is this this is the this session. Is, this is the birth of a new segment. <laughs> this is the birth of a new segment. <laughs> apologize to Joe, Marshall. You just started. A, uh oh. Yeah, now Don. Don wants to apologize. You got to apologize to Joe. Don, you're on the air. I just want to apologize to Joe too. <laughs> <laughs> For just, what, Don? I'm sorry his dad is a kid toucher, you know. I was a victim, and I know it must, it must be a bitch to be the you, wait, wait, you were a victim a of Joe's dad or oh, someone else? Jesus Christ. Was it, a, was it Bishop DeRosa from Philly? <laughs> yes. No, he's a bishop. Bishop to, yeah. <laughs> now he's bishop. in the Vatican. He's hanging bishop. out with yeah, the Pope. At least he gave him a promotion. He's a cardinal. He's a cardinal. He, I, uh, my dad's drinking with the Pope. All right, yeah. Don. <laughs> thanks, thanks for, because, uh, you know, Joe's real sensitive. Uh, I think this is what we'll do from now on. At the end of... Uh, at the end of Uninformed, we'll spend 10 minutes apologizing to Joe DeRosa. He gets, he gets a P.O. box. Yeah. He's not giving you P.O. box up. Gets a little work fan up. mail. I'm writing this down. We're going to have to have a, uh, we're gonna have to have a little benefit for you. Fucking hilarious. And there you go, Joe. Another half hour radio. You've just been, you, he, this, he's gold. Yeah. He's visceral. He's visceral. That's he's absolute okay. gold. So if anybody's tuned in, we're... Uh, Break time. Yeah, it's uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa, and I guess we were mean to Joe. Joe took it seriously, and uh, some of the callers want to call in and apologize to Joe because uh, he just really seems like he's sensitive. I took his M&Ms away. I apologize for that. Yeah. Doug, I think, you know, the fact that you've been a third of the show is, you know, it's I, offensive to Joe. Yeah. You, want, you want to apologize to Joe before the break? I'm sorry, Joe, and you do look good. You do look good, and your metabolism has not slowed down a bit. Hey, Joe, you got your whole life ahead of you, man. Yeah. I just, you know, I think everything. Yeah. Sure. And call me. I'll help you move. I'll, exactly. I'll, I'll lift a box of M&Ms for you. All right, guys. You're listening to Uninformed Bill Burr and Sensitive Joe DeRosa. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Voice your strong opinion right now. 866-WOW-1-WOW. That's 866-969-1969. All right. We are back for the uh, final half hour of Uninformed. Been a great show. Bill yes. Burr, Joe DeRosa, special guest. Doug Signe, Doug, you got a you got a website or anything you want to hype? Yeah, DougSignier.com. It's D O U G S A U L N I E R.com. You open up for uh, 
Robert Chimmel next Robert weekend. Sh- we're at uh, Governor's in Long Island in Levittown. Great. Next and you know what? I'm going to start a new website called I'm Sorry Joe Show. DeRosa. <laughs> Dot com. Dude, we have so many people who just want to apologize to you. We're just going to try to get through them real quick, all right? Okay. Uh, Bob in Florida, you want to apologize to Joe? Yeah, you know, I didn't call earlier, but I felt the need to apologize that, you know, as a, as a listener, I've, I feel responsible that I've been one of those people that have facilitated the position that would allow Joe to sit here and make a horse's ass out of himself with yeah. all the comments that he's made. That, I you think know, like, 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 for example, the... The pit bull tail is creating the condition for a mean dog. That's like saying that if you see a car with a crumpled bumper, that that car is more likely to be involved in accidents. No, no, no. It's an, in, it's an indication of a condition, not a predictor of the condition. All right, Bob. Thanks for calling Thank in and apologizing to Joe. All right. John in Ohio. we got to get through these, Joe. A lot of people want to apologize to you. Ahead. What's up, John? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. Have a good night. <laughs> that guy's got time in his hand. Uh, Eric from Nebraska. <laughs> Eric, what's up, man? You want to apologize to Joe? Yeah, I called earlier about the roosters fucking the chickens, and I didn't get my point across real clearly, so I just wanted to apologize to Joe that I didn't make it clear enough for him, all right? Yeah, I, thought you. I thought you were a little harsh right. when you just talked to him in an even tone. Thank you for uh, okay. apologizing. Sorry. It's okay. All right, Steve in New York. Steve, what's up, man? You want to apologize? Yeah, man. Uh, I told Joe on his MySpace that I was going to listen, and I got wrapped up in my fantasy football draft. <laughs> and then turned it on at about, about 1120, so I feel real bad. I just wanted to apologize. That's all right, Steve. Don't worry about it. All right, it. Steve. Th- 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 thanks for having a heart, man, for calling in and apologizing <laughs> to Joe DeRosa. People, if you just tuned in, Joe, is, uh, he's had a rough show. Uh, a lot of people said mean <laughs> stuff to him, and uh, so mean that uh, I've never seen this. Like, this whole people just want to, everybody just wants to call and apologize. Uh, here's another guy from all around the country, Jerry from Texas. You want to apologize to Joe? Yeah, man, I was sitting here listening to the show, playing some Xbox 360, smoking a little herb, and I hear <laughs> Joe have a breakdown about his yeah. M&M. I am so sorry, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. I am so so sorry. Well, I Bill took them point. away from me. <laughs> but I gotta ask you, man. If you're gonna eat that big bag of M and M's when you don't have the munchies, what would you eat when you had the munchies? Uh, I don't smoke weed, man, so I, I couldn't tell you, dude. But God only knows. Actually, one time I, I, I used to smoke yeah, weed. Yeah, hypothetically, for the love of God, the, worst the guy thing, has apologized. Can you the roll worst with the thing question? I ever, the worst thing I ever ate. When I was high, when I used to smoke a lot of weed, was I ate a carrot sandwich because there was nothing in the house, so I put carrots on bread and ate that. That was the fucking most revolting. And you know what, Doug? I I want to make eaten. fun of him, but I don't think there's enough time left in the show to <laughs> apologize to him. So, <laughs> but at least there was carrots in it, right? Rick in Sarasota, this is the last person going to apologize. Rick. Uh, Joe, I, I feel terrible, um, and I need to apologize. I was posting on FBA in the listening thread that I made. And I, I've said some really bad things about your father, and, and I, just, I need to I need to apologize, or else I really won't be able to sleep tonight. Did you really do that? Yeah, I definitely did that. What did you write? Uh, <laughs> All of a sudden, it's getting serious. Rick, you better get your second apology ready. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, I said Joe DeRosa is the best drummer ever. His dad learned how to drum on the soft bellies of and bottoms of young boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. now, now, I may be able to sleep tonight due to all the pot brownies I've been eating, but, um, you know, I just really needed to get this off my conscience. Okay, well, we're glad uh, you decided to call in. Thanks, Rick. That right. fucking fan the fan sucks. falls off one more time. You want Is the that- fan to apologize to you, Joe? I know you're real sensitive. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little upset that he wrote the thing on the, the thread about my It got dad. serious again. Yeah, I, I felt so, it, I think. Well, how can't you be? It's, it's going to be know. the first time someone actually apologized and got a call back again for slanderous? apologizing. Is that slanderous? Um, to do that? No, I don't no. think it is. Your dad what would you say? Out there is it slanderous? Parish. No, not at all. Not at all. No. And we're line basing two, all oh, of this on line two. Somebody went to high school with me. <laughs> line two. Somebody went to high school with Joe DeRosa. Let me take this now. Let me see if uh, I hang on I'll a second. Steve in uh, Chester. I don't know where that is, but you said you went to high school with Joe DeRosa. Yeah, hey, Joe, what's up, man? Who is this, Steve? Uh, Steven from uh, the Catholic High School where you used to play your drums in the band. (laughs) 
Oh, it sounds like yeah. an old friend of yours. Yeah. Yeah. What was the name of the high school, Steve? Uh, back it was 1987. <laughs> now, it uh, despite all the people that had southern accents in Collegeville, Pennsylvania, Steve, uh, I'm not falling for this. Well, check. <laughs> Sorry, I God didn't, I didn't think it was going to really keep excited. going. I, had a friend I didn't think it was going to keep going. I had a good friend named Steve in high school. I thought that was going to be him. All right. Well, you know what, Joe? You actually, you, your, uh, your little temper tantrum for the last 90 minutes created a whole new bit for this show. A solid. <sighs> Who knows? Thanks. Everybody all over the country. I guess maybe that you're going nice to have to lose your shit. But, Joe, you, you know we're just playing around, all right, dude? I, I don't want you to. Just stop apologizing, uh, please. I, dude, it's not just me. It's America. <laughs> 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 dude, we had people. From all people in Texas, they never apologize, Joe. They just believe what they believe and go fuck yourself. Well, most the, people that called and apologized for smoking weed or eating. Yeah, half the apologies were roundabout insults. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe, so what, 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 do you, what do you want? What do you want from the show? What, do we, what do we got? What I want is women who ruin porn. Okay. I, I spent time to pull in the fucking audience. All right. So. Uh, we want to thank everyone who's been listening and apologizing to Joe. We have uh, we have a, uh, a return segment on this show. Uh, Doug, I don't know if. Uh, You've, you've been one of our 48 listeners, but we have this thing. You ever been watching, like, porno, and, uh, you know, the girl's hot. The whole thing is, is doing it for you. And then the girl starts getting nailed, and she just starts making, like, erection-killing noises. Like, just the, the moaning is just so fucking awful, it just ruins the porno. I don't pay that much attention to it, to be honest. I'm not actually not a big porno guy, well, but I, I mean... You really not? Mean, you couldn't just I mean, roll with it to help I, me? I, I finally well, set up a fucking bit. Actually, you know what? I'm one of the few guys who uh, doesn't watch porn. I, I, one, I go to the gym... And I, I bet fifteen grand I on the fucking a lot Olympics, of ass, so I don't need to watch this one. porn. <laughs> wow, you bang a lot. You bang that much ass. You don't. You know. You I'm know, banging four different broads right now. I've seen Absolutely. some of the ass. Do you play? Do you play? In, do you play in a band? No, I don't. But I jump around like a maniac. On Doug the stage. will also fuck anything. Whoa, I've what seen the fuck? I've seen why, it. Why, why would you do See, Joe, you're not a man. Oh, my God. I've seen it. You're, just, you're not a man. I mean, look at this. Are you talking about when we went up to Brother Jimmy's that night when you herded four hogs up there? And uh, you're going to love this. So, Joe, Are you going to stoop to his level? No, here? Joe Joe gets the hot girl, right? But she's a tramp. She's got the tattoo, the Where whole was thing. This? Where we went up to Brother Jimmy's after stand up in New York one night, and I disappeared and said, I'm going to the Irish pub so I can get loaded. And I got my nice chunky. No, broad. that chick was kind of cute. Yeah, and then she started. Then she started making out with the bartender for free shots. And Joe's hanging in there trying to convince her that he's the one for no. her. I swear, no, no fucker, way. no I fucker. Mean, I did not. I hung wait, in there wait, for wait, you because you told that, me to hang. Joe. I respect that. But I, that's not why I hung. He oh. told me to hang, and he was like, "Just fucking hang out for a while with me." And I fucking hung with him. Wait no, a minute, no, no, try no. to no. wing man. Back up, back Whoa. up, back up, because you went real fast. You're telling yeah. me you're hitting on some girl, and at some point she goes up to the bar. She starts making out with she the bartender. She didn't make out with the. She didn't make out with the bartender. Hanging in there. She absolutely. Wait your turn, sir. She did not You're make out with me. the bartender. But she didn't make out with the bartender. No, she, she was well, flirting with the bartender and she was getting free shots. She did not make are out. Are you with lying? Her. No, I'm not. And it was He's part of Jimmy's, and she got up on the bar and danced and got free shots. Yeah. And I said to Joe, so what I made a mistake a by talking quick was I left the bar. And I uh -huh. said, this is absurd. So I left with one of her pig friends. I said, I got to separate the girl from the herd. I'm out of here. One of her we go pig across friends. the street. But so is, this, is this girl hot that Joe, who's. Yeah, who, she was, she really was hot. definitely hot, but she, definitely she, hot. she would have banged anybody who was behind the bar. And, you know, so sure enough, I leave. A half an hour later, Joe shows up at the Irish pub. I'm like, uh, what happened? He's like, She's making out. He said that to no, me. He I, did said, I did not say that. Doug. She started hooking up with the bartender. Doug, I didn't say that, Doug. That didn't happen. Jonah, uh, do, no, no, don't get offended here, I'm Joe. not offended. Okay, but that your didn't voice happen. is going up. I don't yeah. want to have to, Doug, have to fucking apologize. I'm to not offended. Just because I'm, I'm Joe, I'm sorry. I'm not all right, offended. I'm sorry we brought it up. Yep, Jesus. it never happened. Sorry, it didn't happen. I tried to go with it. It was a shitty bit. I apologize. <laughs> Doug, yeah. Doug has fucked. The crack of dawn. Some threes, dude. I've seen him. I've what are seen you talking him. About? Why are you I've blowing up him. his whole fucking yeah, thing? You know, he's, wow. He gets on the radio. He's trying. Go fuck he, yourself. You guys talking about my dad's now he's upset. fucking kid. Now he's upset. No. Now he's upset. That, that, now I'm now he's upset. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. This yeah. is well, for everybody. Give him some M&M's. Give him some, give him some, give some M&M's. <laughs> for everybody out there, let me just say this. Joe, look. M&M's. Let me say this. M&M's, Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. the blue color. Let me say this. For everybody out there in Radio Land that's listening right now. Oh, God. He's mad again. Who isn't a stand-up comedian that lives in New York City. This is is you are witnessing right now the double standard of New York comedians, which is oh, they no. fuck with you and they say whatever they want, and then as soon as you say something back, then you're being inappropriate and you went too far. Joe, we're sorry. 
You say some sorry, gloves Doug, are off I, shit. Doug, Doug, are you sorry? I'm sorry. I am. I'm I, sorry, Joe. Jeez. I don't want it. Absolutely. I'm not asking completely. for an apology, but don't get uh, mad at me Jesus, when I'm snapping he's really back. really mad now. Pissed off. Fuck. Sorry, oh, Joe. fuck you. Okay. Sorry, Joe. I do know one thing I learned from the show tonight. I can't fuck any bitches around Joe. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna throw me under the bus, you fucking. I know. Piece of I would shit. never throw you under the bus. I've looked Don't directly. Some threes, yeah. It's we at just the told... nineteen we, we, Heineken. Yeah, it we... happens. Look, the Boston all... Comedy Club didn't actually bring. And I love how he didn't blow his own spot up by going, "I'm fucking four chicks right now." <laughs> That's not blowing his own shit up. No, I blow him up by saying I've seen desirable. him fuck a couple threes. He's desirable. Go fuck we said yourself. where he's gonna be. You know what, Joe? I break a lot of balls when it comes to a guy uh, getting pussy. I fuck. I, I'm, I, I don't do that shit. You well, have a Bill, major rule Bill, in engagement. We have different the big, opinions. The big movie in our day was Beautiful Girls. I would girls. never accuse your father of be pedophilia. So uh, we have different standards. But you know what? If by. you did, you wouldn't have to apologize. Yeah. And you let I didn't ask you to apologize. So you turned the whole last half hour into a Mother Teresa segment. Yeah, and you let everybody in the radio behind the guy curtain by just throwing me out there. All right, can we, can, we, can we get back to the women? It. The you women deserve it for the porn. women that you fucked. All right, <laughs> I've people. looked dead into the eyes of these pigs and had to smile and say, "You're a sweetheart. Take good care of my buddy." <laughs> when I know they're gonna eat you out of house. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, wow, actually, man. I, I, I do. Are you I embarrassed feel, right now? Or is that I a sunburn? Am, no, actually, I got uh, rosacea. If you can believe it. See, that's why I work out. I'm getting old. I, I just had skin cancer removed. I'm, I'm working out again. What is rosacea? I don't, it's a skin condition. It gets red. That's why I quit drinking. And I got skin cancer. I just had it removed two days ago. From what? Jeez. Just being Irish? Just being in the sun, man. It's awful. It's my second case of it. So that's why Jesus I'm, I'm, Christ. That's my whole point without getting serious with Joe was when you go to the doctor one day and they go, all right, McDonald's twice a week and that shit's got to go. And that's uh, they hit me with that. So, yeah, so. see, Joe? And, and did at any point did anybody have to fucking apologize? He didn't see him lose his shit, all the stuff he's been through. Fuck you! Yeah, I know, right? I didn't make fun of skin cancer. No, but I'm just saying. I didn't accuse his skin cancer of fucking children. No, but I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Look, look, look at the level of shit he's going through, and no one had to apologize to him. Nobody had to apologize to we me. We took away your candy, Joe, and you fucking lost it. Eat me. I'll play, play back the tape, the Joe. women who ruined porn. I'll Which, play. Would you, Bill? You keep <laughs> threatening to do it. Okay. All right, for everybody listen out there, this is for... Uh, so this this chick, let me set this okay. up. Because this is Joe's this this is your is, porn. This is before they even have sex. This first clip, I think there's two tracks on here. The first track is... As soon as the camera pans up and you see her face for the first time. By the way, it's a point of view porn, so it looks like... I love those. It Big looks like you're fucking her, right? So the camera pans up, and this is her intro. This, this is the first okay. thing she says. This is the first Just thing. listen okay. to her voice, dude. Joe is in a red roof inn, listen getting to ready voice. to do his thing, and this is what he hears. Well, how are you today? Well, I can tell you, I'm very excited about this afternoon. She How like, old is she? She's like 45, dude. She sounds like the mom on Family Guy. Listen to her, dude. It sounds like the wife on... It sounds like Lois. All right, here we go. <laughs> Listen to it, dude. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? I have great news. I got rid of the kids. It's just going to be you and I here today. So... We're going to have lots of fun because I've really been looking forward to this a lot. Is this real? <laughs> it's real, dude. This is terrible. So, this, so she's doing like trying to be pretend like she's, she's talking, talking yeah, to you. She's talking into the camera. This is the setup. This is the scenario. She got rid of her kids. <laughs> is she wearing a house coat? Yeah. No, she's wearing... Well, just play. I think Billy, she starts talking about what goes, wearing. what is this? In the minute he goes, I love this type of porn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the, the point of view porn is the shit. As long as I love the point of view porn. I like it because you know what you know what I always hated about fucking porn is the fucking the balls and shit and the, the dick. It's just like it's unnecessary. Like the worst edit ever is you're watching the girl, you're fucking stroking it, and all of a sudden they cut to the guy's face. Like I have to see. Have you ever yelled at the his. screen? I've yelled at the screen. When oh yeah. Do that. I go yeah. Cut to him, you fucking moron. And I start yelling at it because yeah. it's it annoys me. <laughs> I just like to yell out unnecessary. <laughs> That oh, shot me. should never be in there. Give Ever. me a jump cut. I don't need a cutaway. Ever. Just do a shitty edit where her pussy skips on the screen because you oh, had to cut brutal. two things together. I like how just openly we're talking how lonely it is on the road. This is what it's like to be a comedian, <laughs> that you'll fucking break it down to this level. Here we go. Here's, here's more of uh, Mabel. Yeah. You know what I like to do usually? I like to take down my little uh, lingerie that I have over here and I hope you like it because I got a really special for 
I, I, was, I was waiting for it to be like, I'd like to uh, uh, line, please. What is it? Yeah. Today. Yeah. And you know what I like to do? What do you I like to play with my tits. No. I kind of like to squeeze them a little bit. You know that? I kind of like play with them just a little bit, and just like softly. And just <laughs> Swoply. Can you see it be really, really good? I remember now, during the Korean War. Now, <laughs> this girl's like 48. What do you say we play some Baccarat after this today? <laughs> you like peanut brittle? Skip to the, the, only, the only thing that suck about the point of view porn is there always is that douchebag going, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, you're like, is, that's not my is, voice. Is that what you like to do? Yeah, and, and it gets extra creepy. Skip to the track two. There should be track. There should be two okay. tracks. Now, this is when they're about to fuck. Now. There you go, Joe. Is that what the fuck I was supposed to do? Yeah, yeah it really does. I'm getting like a little, little tweak. How do I get to the next Random track? All this. right, four, shut up. The arrows. That's what I'm hitting. Mm. Sean? This gets me really hot and horny. Sean, horny. You, yeah, I like what you're doing. It's me horny, Peter. Yeah, why didn't you come in earlier? You get your pants down? Oh, track two. There we go. All right, here we go. Right. Yeah, what do we have over here? Wait, stop it. Like Let me set it up. Let me set it up. Skip skip back to the beginning of track two. I don't know how to jump. She's... she's <laughs> At this point, she's I'm lying. I'm a drummer and a comedian. Just so you know this, she's lying on the couch with her legs spread, and the guy's got his fucking, you know, he's got his schlong out, right? And that's what she's referring to right now. Okay. Uh, what do we have over here? I hope you like the position that I'm in. I thought it was very, very inviting. <laughs> mm. I just want to stroke you for a little bit. Mm, that's so nice. Oh, I God, find she's it very horrible. inviting. Hang on a second. We got a caller here. It's her. Adam, That'd Long Island. What's up, man? That's what are you, what are you saying? Movie. Oh, this sounds like Janine Melnitz from the old fucking Ghostbuster movies. Yeah, that's a good call, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Thank Ghost, you. Thank you for calling yeah. Ghostbusters. I find it very inviting. Dude, how, how long did you hang in there with this? this? I've masturbated to this scene and finished. It's kind of hot. <laughs> to, to, She's kind of like a hot milf. Her voice is horrific. But then I kind of, I got into the Dude, fantasy. I saw some older girl going after you when everyone was laughing last night at Stand Up New York. And everybody's just like, oh, poor Joe. I'm like, nah, man, I think he's into the milf. I love the milf. Cougars. Love they're she, not milf, this, they're cougars now. This, that's the new one, right? Yeah. That's they don't such have a, kids. They're just whores that are out without kids and they're not a mom. That's they call cougars? They call cougars, yeah. That I go to a lane's on the upper east. No, it's good. Because they don't have kids and saying. a husband. It's just an age thing. No, the she milk um, has got a cart and stuff. I like I like I like hot older women. Like this chick is is actually kind of hot. Uh, in what voice, kind of a way, Joe? She's like a tall blonde. She's a hot. She's a hot old. She's an attractive woman. Her voice is just awful. That's the whole thing. That's right? what's killing it for me. I'm just picturing. But uh, then I kind of just. <laughs> is that what's killing you it? You know the boy, fantasy I have. Like, like you know the she, fantasy I have. The Phyllis Diller generation. Yeah. She's got oh. such an awful voice, and she's such a dummy. Like I always picture, like this is like the kind of chick. Like if you live next door to her, this is the older woman that you really could fuck. You know what I mean? That would be her. It wouldn't be look some the sexy. evil look on your face, yeah. Joe. I'm really liking that. Hey, the girl next door you could fuck. Is she a three? You know what I'm saying? Do I, I have haven't a shot seen, with her? No, you don't have a shot. <laughs> I Shit. haven't seen one of these since the Depression. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> and Joe oh, goes long. <laughs> Would you like long. some pears? <laughs> uh, some peaches? Is, it, is this the only porn you brought in, Joe? Is yeah, this, just this, that This one. is the track? Let's listen to mm. a little more of her. I love, I love rubbing a cock on my clit. Oh, God, that's disgusting. <laughs> this is horrific. I, I would, I've literally... Women in room porn. Joe, that was... Uh, it's a bad one. That huh? was, yeah, that was almost ruined the bit. That just made me not want to do it anymore. Why? I don't know, man. That was just like... I, if you want you know to apologize I, I, to Billy for no, no, listening yeah, to yeah. that. <laughs> Don't yeah, yeah. apologize no, to Burr. I, I, I hooked up with this, this girl one time, or started to. When I when I was living in L.A. a long, long time ago, and sh she was an older woman, at least to me, I was in my mid twenties. I think she was like uh, 40, 41. And you never meet somebody like they're young, but they start to ha they have that old person smell. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't know balls. what happened, dude. There's I don't know what. Balls. No, you know that I'm I'm starting to decay because the death process has already started. That's what the fuck happened. And <laughs> I don't know. I, like I ended up going home and just like showering, like uh, just scrubbing, like I never had before. <laughs> and then I laid in bed and I forgot to do the top of my left shoulder. I'll never forget uh, it. Which is an area you, I think you yeah. miss a lot. So I basically was rolling over my side and I smelt it again and I had to go right back into the shower Sorry. again. Just screaming. See, the difference with me yes. and you guys and, and Joe's touchstone it is, is I'm such a scumbag. 
I would stay with the chick and I would just tell her to shower with me. I'm like, I'm going to rub you down and get rid of this disgusting smell because the night's over. And if I got yeah. you in my house, I still want to pull Christ out of you. I thought so. about pulling that move before. Like, sometimes a chick will have on perfume that you can't oh, stand. Oh, it sucks. With, like, like older woman, per like, for like, like, dude, my mom <laughs> used to wear this perfume growing up. And like, if I smell it on a chick... Like obsession, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like oh, they have if Rouge I smell on. that on a fucking <laughs> young girl, it's, like, it's done. It, it's done. If I'm like, that's what my aunt used to wear. It's like ugh. when I when I hook up with like chicks young chicks smell with, like I'll vanilla. You know, they, they just yeah, yeah. They Bath and Body Works. That's what a young chick smells like. An older chick smells like you know, Liz Claiborne. Shag carpet. Yeah, see, you know what I mean. Carpet. <laughs> <laughs> they they smell like, they smell like whatever was in Estee Lauder. You know what I mean? That's what I think. Mary oh, Kay. Yeah, Mary yeah, Kay yeah, Cosmetics. Yeah. Ugh. Oh shit! Oh, that or they smell like their husband because they're cheating on him. <laughs> Hook up with Love a chick that. from the forties. She smells like a rivet factory. <laughs> the fuck are rivet goods? Good. Do you remember those chicks when they putting together the airplanes <laughs> during World War Two? The what chick they that would do that? this in the poster. Oh yeah, we could do it or whatever. Yeah. she wasn't allowed to have a razor <laughs> because they used that to make an aircraft carrier. Oh boy! They actually, a lot of people don't know that they used uh, women's razors in World War II oh, to make the uh, flight decks on uh, a lot of the uh, destroyers. Oh, I find oh, that shit. very inviting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Are we even doing a fucking show at this point? Yeah, we got, we got another course. five minutes left here. Let's let's try to. Uh, we want to thank everybody for listening. Let's do a little wrap up here. Um, Doug, where are you going to be at? Doug Signe, hanging in there. Um, had to apologize to Joe. I'm gonna apologize yeah. to you for that because we never had that, you know. No, that's never, had, never had it go down like that. That was yeah, landmark. Great, so it was good. Joe deserves Wait, an apology. Wait, real quick though, we got a couple minutes. We talked about guy. Yeah, why code. have our guest hype a show? Let's have it all about I, you. I, <laughs> no, absolutely, Joe. Else run with the guy it. code. No, absolutely, it's not a guy. Code. You know what? I, just, I don't want to offend Joe. Let's just, for the love of God, I don't want to apologize. This is something we get, talked about the other day. It'll take two minutes. I want to hear Doug's opinion. Guy, uh, guy code. If you're out with a guy and a girl, right, and you don't, you're not friends with the guy. You just know him. Say you met him. He was a waiter at a club, right? He's got some chick with him. He's not going out with the chick. It's his first time ever hanging out with her, right? You follow me? I'm with you, brother. He's got no game whatsoever. He's fucking it up. He's not going to be able to close in a million years with this chick. Uh -huh. You swoop in. You close it. Are you cock blocking or are you just having game? Well, first of all, I never swoop anything, but that's fine. No, you have game. If you're on the road, I, you do it constantly because I don't know these people. I don't give a shit. No, but if we're at Stand Up New York at Caroline's or a place where we go all the time, I would never do that. But on the road, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Not a guy that you're with. What if you went on with? the road with, with Joe? And he was fucking it up? Absolutely, because that's a story we'd tell on the air, and they'd be like, awesome, that's great. I would definitely... You would I'd, be like, I'd be like, Joe has herpes when he goes to the bathroom. You would swipe me? <laughs> give a shit. I'd be like, <laughs> Would Yo, you swipe you me on the road? Absolutely. That's what comics do. You uh, made it... I would never swipe you. You wouldn't? No, you, you fuck said... threes, Doug. I wouldn't fuck the girls you fuck. Oh, but... <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Mr. McDonald's, you bitch tits. That. Fucking asshole. <laughs> But you preface the whole thing by saying... I don't know, but saying, you know something, Joe, I, when I see Joe, Joe is with some nice-looking women, so... Oh, no, absolutely. So, I, Doug, what, what is your... For all your racing needs, tune into the engine block on... All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online, on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.